in the notifications and stuff. Yeah. Shigar is streaming right now. I can go let him know. Shikara streaming gameplay, not game dev. No, that doesn't yeah. count. Shikara is trying to Gosh, Shikara, we planned this. Yep. <laughs> it's not our gameplay. Yeah, there's a, there's a stream schedule now. <laughs> there's a stream schedule. So, um, yeah, I guess, like, I, I don't know, like, how or when people are going to see to to come in and stuff. Uh, But yeah, no, for uh, for everyone that is watching, um, welcome to the stream. Uh, hopefully I'm going to finish up the high poly part of the model today. Um, that's going to involve basically like redoing just about every crystal that's on the guy. Um, yeah, just about every crystal that's on the guy, his claws, uh, you know, just tightening things up, like really, really tightening things up, um, getting them ready for, uh, for like the low poly and for texturing and stuff. Um, so I'll do my, I'll do the turnaround for people that want to see like a before and after. And uh, currently joining us in the stream is, uh, oh wow, okay, so we have um, our resident baguette. Oh. <laughs> What's happening, people? Uh, hang on, I'll get to you in a minute, man. <laughs> so we have, we have our resident baguette, uh, crab, uh, crab roulette. We have uh, Warren, um, we have uh, Tarathos, we have Omega, who is going to be doing all the, the announcing and basically just keeping the chat alive because, you know, I'm terrible at that. And finally, <laughs> finally, he's back. In black, it's Uncle Boof. Oh man! <laughs> what is happening with y'all? Ah, oh, nothing, nothing too much, man. Um, how are you doing? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Missed you, missed you the last couple of streams, dude. Uh, it's been insanely busy. Yeah, it sounds it. Insanely busy. Sounds it. So, I usually try to jump in with you guys, but it's been nuts. Yeah. Kids in school, end of year stuff, and yeah. Kids, and getting man. ready for getting ready for recent upcoming releases and such. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh baby. Yep, we got to deal with the uh, state of the game. That's like the next big one, right? That's in a couple of weeks, I think. Yes, it is. We got a couple of weeks. Yep, so. Couple of couple of weeks. State of the game. The May the fourteenth. May the. There you go. You heard it from. You heard it here first. May the fourteenth. With all the data, we have the data bucket. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Um. All the data. Shouldn't you? Uh. Looks a bit odd though. What's that? The chest and delt area looks a bit odd. Somebody, a spear. What looks a bit odd? Like, tell me. The chest. Yeah. yeah. What about it? The tell details. me. <laughs> <laughs> Want specifics? It's like, so th this is this is a this is a good opportunity to point out the difference between like, uh, between like good and bad critique. Like a good critique is the chest and deltoid area looks off because and a bad critique is chest and deltoid area looks off. Because I can go like, okay, but what do I do with that? <laughs> Here's here here would be here would be mine. I'm wondering if the plate, if like the plating on his chest and his deltoids mm -hmm. would feel a little more would feel a little more at home like on the back sort of area and then when you have the stuff that's more towards the abdominal and then the underside of the tail if that kind of texture would move up a little bit towards the chest but that's just opinion wise i mean i yeah i kind I of it, i, I kind think of... it looks ridiculous awesome <laughs> <laughs> i kind of thought the same thing while i was doing it i was like I, I want i want this kind of stuff that's on the on the stomach and and underneath the tail i wanted that to be on the chest but at the same time like I wanted it to be broader. Like I wanted to really kind of exaggerate the the size. Oh of right, it right, the, yeah. The chest, but um, I can I can probably look at that a little bit later on as well. Uh, cause it, you know it what's doesn't funny? Seem like it's come across properly. 
I think another thing that that will be cleared up massively with all of this stuff, though, is colorization. To be completely honest with you, I yeah, think yeah. I th I don't think I think we're just because we're looking at you know the chrome the chromed buff. You know, it's uh, once we get color on it, I think I think that'll change big time. This dude looks so ridiculous. I hope I hope he looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna look awesome when looks... we've got when we've got our voice acting done. Um, Omega is kindly offered to to do some some awesome growling for, for this guy. Heck yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. I, mean, I, I think I think if, if if we're gonna be if we're gonna be selling custom announcer packs, we should be able to sell custom uh, custom jungle boss packs as well. So we really can. <laughs> have, so we really, so we so we 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 actually could have like. Uh, Omega, Omega boss, you know, like. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down for that. Customize your your experience. Customize your entire <laughs> gameplay experience. Rawr! <laughs> also, thanks for the, the host, enemy Street team Car. has joined the fray. <laughs> <laughs> Would be excellent. Uh. So I, uh, I I managed to finish I managed to finish up God of War. Uh, playing How'd you it. like it? Oh man! I, so I I decided to I decided that like because I like because I like life to kick me in the balls like relentlessly. Uh, I would play it on the hardest <laughs> difficulty available right from the word go. Uh, of course, you know, That's like like, like like uh, as you do, right? And uh, yes, you know, the, the, the very the very very first encounter with like the first Draugr that comes along. He just they, 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 they just murdered me like straight up <laughs> murdered me, and it and it took me it took me I shit you not it took me like an hour and forty five minutes to move past that point because I had no idea like I was like wait wait how do you parry how do you block and all you know it took me a good while to to fi figure it out and then like once I'd figured out how to parry and block and stuff I was like. Uh, I, I, you know, move on to the move on to the next area, and there's like there's this big and guy who the troll. Yeah, there, there's this big guy who's like, fuck your block. <laughs> 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 I just learned how to block. Well, guess what? It doesn't mean shit now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, the, the game. The, the fine. game is, um, and I, I I think I tweeted this out yesterday. Actually, like to me, the game is a masterclass on uh, narrative art design. Uh, there yep. are so many things like even even if you were to just take Kratos uh, and and disassemble him art wise there are so many things about his character model that tell a story about like who he is where he's come from where he's at now you know it's 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 an excellent excellent piece of artwork and then you can you know you multiply that across the entire game there isn't a single thing in the game that doesn't have just this it, it isn't just oozing fantastic art design, you know. Um, it's, yep, it's absolutely, it's absolutely incredible. I, I and and yeah, just such a good game. That and and game, they they deserve all the praise that they got for it. <laughs> that game, that game easily, easily compares and ranks up there with Witcher Three for me. And Witcher Three was my favorite game ever. Oh really? So, that's, yeah, that's high praise, man. <laughs> So I mean, because I thought because I know 3 what you feel about Witcher, perfect. man. <laughs> so I mean, Witcher three and my and my very very humble view was was a perfect game for me. And the funny thing is, is you know, with this massive narrative of you know the single player game experience being dead, I think God of War just came out and kicked that theory dead in the nuts so hard that it vomited in its mouth a little. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I hope so. Uh, the thing is, like, there, there's there's going to be publishers out there that like will never change their mind on this. That will always see, you know single player is just like essentially wasted profit for them like there's no way to hook someone in there's no way to to you know monetize the balls off of it you know which is what oh, which is what most publishers want you know like you, you look at yep. look at the, look at the way battlefield call of duty you know look at the way that all of those games are designed um and the way that they're monetized and you can you can tell exactly why they're built that way and exactly why those publishers don't want to make single player games you know they make yep. so much money out of this and you know, God of War, as great as it is, it's not going to be like a a massive money spinner, you know. And and some no, no, it, it they're just be. not after that, you know. <laughs> and you know, that's I to be honest with you, I kind of rather enjoy that. I mean, this this is back to we've said it a million different times on this stream. You've got 
you know, people who are looking to make a great product and they make a profit out of it. Other people are looking to make great profit out of just a product. Yeah. So, and I mean, the, everything about God of War, the story, whatever you wanted in there, the only thing it didn't have was multiplayer. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> do, do, it you know was, what, do you know what my 14 year old said that exact thing to me? She was like, Hey, Hey, can I like pick up the other controller and play, uh, play as Atreus? And I was like, that would have been like the cherry on the cake, awesome. you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. No, it was insane. And if you were stupid enough, like some people, <clears throat> uh, to actually go through and do most of the side stuff. Like, I mean, if you went to, uh, like the Muselheim, if you went through that whole entire rift, yeah, so and... like I so like I, I did like the first trial on on, on Muspelheim. Um, yeah. I haven't I haven't uh, done I guys. haven't done. Sorry, what? Uh, I guess I'm just saying that uh, because the game's new, can we try not to spoil? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, like this this isn't sto this isn't story spoilers or anything. This is like nope. Yeah, um, yeah. Fair fair point though. <laughs> uh, it is. It is. But yeah, no, I haven't I haven't done any of the other trials. And yeah, I mean, like I said, the, the for me the whole game. Not just in terms of like the overall story, but just in terms of like individual creature and character art for for narrative amazing. design, just, just absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely was amazing. It. And then, my only complaint about the game was I wish the boat would have maneuvered a little more because <laughs> uh, that thing was a pain in the ass. You wanted to turn it around, it's like what the. That, but that was it. Yeah, my my honestly, my <laughs> only complaints about the game are like really niggly things, like like for example. Um, you can you can you can just walk off the edge of some things, but not other things, even though they're at the same height, you know. Yep. Um. And yep. And, and it's like and it's like uh and it's usually the places where like that you've got the chains that you can climb up or down. Um, right. And like you can drop off some of them, and other other ones you can't. And I'm just like it would be nice to have some some consistency there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like little quality of life things. I just want to drop it. <laughs> yeah, that 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 game is still a five for five for me. Yep, mm. absolutely loves loved every second of it. And oh, oh, and Bear's score for the game that was wonderful. It's it's been a while since a score for a game seriously captivated me. I mean, the whole Kratos theme that he has in there. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, Oh yeah, the music is fantastic, and the music for some of the boss wonderful. fights is like it's wonderful, incredible. But I'm not gonna, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't even tell you which one is my favorite because people might not have played that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, Blue Perry has joined. Pray to following. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can do, let's see if we can do this without uh, adding too much. What what did you think of the end? Um. I thought the end was was incredible. If, if you're talking about like the uh, outside of the house at the end, yes, yeah, 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 absolutely awesome. I was just like, hell's yes. I mean, like DLC I'd, 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 coming I'd, I'd soon. I spent the entire game waiting for that moment. <laughs> yep. Um, and honestly, I don't think that will be a DLC thing because I, they 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 said fairly early on that they weren't going to do DLC for it, but that sets up the second game like amazingly. If if you consider like how this game starts. Like that could easily be the start of the next game, and I would have no problem with that. <laughs> no, I would do zero, like zero problems whatsoever. That kind of bums me out a little bit because, I mean, dude. Yeah, the, I, antici I, I the anticipation. Went, I, went, right? <laughs> I went to Niflheim and I've farmed everything. You know, I mean, it's, it's. Uh, I've got some sickening, disgusting armor, and I would love to carry that into the next story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I went to see uh, Avengers today. No spoilers for that one either, but it's it's very good and it it breaks the mold as far as like the Marvel formula goes. So it's definitely worth a watch. Very good. Nice. I like that recommendation. What did somebody post in Discord about leather or something like that? Leather material? I don't know. Who was it? I could be completely just wrong on that. Yep, and I think I am, and that's fine. <laughs> okay that to be wrong, be man. Idiot. 
I'm wrong most of the time. Being wrong is the right. quickest way to learn how to be right. Right here, right here. What's uh, uh, a question? Um, Go on, hit me up with your question. Hi, Lee. Hi, again, Boo. Got a question for. What sort of secondary stats can we expect, such as armor, elemental resistances, okay. etc.? Because from what I can tell, masters will have, say, fire and lightning. Um. Well, I can't answer that because I'm not a uh, like designer or anything. Okay. Um, I, I just do the artwork. I just make the pretty stuff. <laughs> uh, I I know I know numbers good. <laughs> We, um, we do have numbers guys that are involved and they are fantastic at what they do. <laughs> I say I, I don't do numbers good. I'm a programmer. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels weird uh, saying that. Like, I'm a programmer, he says, doing a bunch of artwork. I just don't know how much I would be allowed to answer that question. Mm. Yeah, I think I think probably I waiting don't. for waiting for a state of the game or or an official announcement on that one would probably be a safe bet. Yeah, because uh, I get asked this so much. Because there's, I mean, I'm, the the, I'm, the the previous state of the game was very kind of art intensive and uh, some some programmery stuff as well. Um, but the next one, like we have a lot more of the other things fleshed out, so I can imagine there'll be some stuff in there at least from uh, from the mechanics department. I would yeah. hope. Uh, Black of... I would say, like, I said we weren't sharing a lot recently. We're getting ready for the SOTG, guys. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the power to make characters thick. C -c 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 -c. Thick. <laughs> Extra thick. Booth thick. <laughs> I mean, people have nicknamed it the Almighty Booth. Yep. This boss, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Have I told you guys the story of how why I'm called Uncle Boof? I thought I did. Maybe no, I didn't. no, you didn't. Oh, story so, time with Uncle Boof. So, so Boof, that's that's what we call, uh, you know, discussing the horrendous flatulence in my family. And uh, oh. you know, somebody's dropping a boof, and so I'm oh, incredible. We have a very, very, very close knit family, very close with all my nieces and nephews. And so Uncle Boof became the name, especially around you know family reunions and things like that. And uh, so dude, yeah, you're not not that's, afraid that's, to cut the cheese then. <laughs> no, no, dude, it's better to fart and bear the shame than to hold it and bear the pain. You know that's. that's, <laughs> that's, that's right. so. I need to leave the window open in the office. <laughs> so that's what's up with that. Uh, um. <laughs> Boof bits for bits. Yeah. Well, I really hope you guys make a kick ass MOBA. We intend to. Vol 90. Yeah, we intend for our MOBA to kick so yeah. much ass. It's gonna be so much. You need, you need a butt brace. How much ass we're gonna kick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be it's, <laughs> gonna, it's gonna be the win amp of MOBAs. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are too young to understand that reference. <laughs> Will we be seeing streams of you guys making abilities for characters? That's up to the mechanics team if they want to do that. Yeah. Right. Well, well hey, I mean, un unless, unless, unless what they mean is like the VFX like side ability. of things. Yeah. Um, I guess we could show that, but like... Does he mean like the animation of the abilities? Maybe. No, what do you mean, man? Speak your mind. Specify. <laughs> or, or Grail. Tell me, non-gender specific. <laughs> it's twenty. Individual. Boof, can you do? Can you do a Kratos? No, my voice isn't that low, but I know few people who could easily. Oh yeah, look, we have a so uh, we have a new subscriber emoticon as well for people that hey. that subscribe for the uh, nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. You get you get uh, you get this awesome uh, word and hello emote. Mm -hmm. And if you guys on in the Discord, we have uh, are the word emotes that are on the Discord here too. Uh, I'm still being... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Why don't you do uh, it and find out? I require you to log out and log back in. Okay. Don't then. 
spirit. But if you have a Discord, you can totally hop in our Discord server and check out our seven uh, Worden emotes there, you know? Yeah, we have a ton of uh, ton of emotes from Worden. I think we're going to get some from Mangus at some point as well. Um, yep, maybe. We're going to have emo emotes coming out the butt. So much you can show all your emotions yeah. with the character of choice. Tell your friends, family. Hide your um, kids, hide your wives. Hide your see. wives, hide your kids. Did not tell your size. friends. I was saying the size of the scales on the chest and delta seem a bit off and large. Maybe depth from the scales. It doesn't feel like it flows well. Yeah, I think uh, Booth and I were having that discussion as well at the beginning. Um, that may that may change towards the end of the stream. We'll see. Uh, TMNT Gamer has for buying an item. Hey TMNT buying... Gamer, how's it hey, going? Hey TMNT. <laughs> Uh, after thinking of questions that you haven't been asked yet, I realize there's one aspect to character design and monster you haven't really showcased yet. Fur. To my knowledge, there isn't really any bump mapping for fur since that's more of a 2D layering sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But will there be any grizzled, woolly, shaggy monstrosities that you're planning? Um, I think we do have one planned. Um, and yes, fur is certainly a challenge, especially like making it run in real time across multiple platforms. Um... But yeah, that's that's something that we'll we'll definitely be uh, tackling at some point. It may not be me; it may be one of the other artists. Like we 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 have basically we we have plans for like what we will be streaming, uh, what we will be teasing, and then like other content which guy like you guys just flat out won't know about until like the state of the games or uh, or or even until like things are actually released. Um, we have we have plans for all of that stuff, so that basically like. So that you, we can't kind of spoil you with content, you know? So, like, you, the things that you see on stream or that you hear about on stream, like, aren't the sum total of everything that, that's going on. So, yeah. Um, the, the, there is definitely, I think, a hero being made or a master being made that has uh, some fur. Um, or maybe a lot of fur. Um, but as for whether you guys see it before it's, like, released, who knows? Hello? Hello? Just hopped in. What's up? Uh, somebody hopped in. I'm not sure. Oh, Jaconi! Jaconi does. Oh, it was... Uh, oh. <laughs> Demonic Trail has bought an item. Thank you for support, subscribing, Demonic. Yeah, thank you for, so thank you for subscribing cool. to, to your own team. Your own project. You have to hang out here. <laughs> He's like, I ain't letting the so, public buy no items. <laughs> I've got a very good friend that messaged me about this, uh, <laughs> about this prime boss. Yeah. And uh, he looked. Uh, he's, his his comment was is that it looks like the Incredible Hulk banged the Predator, and this is the <laughs> offspring. Well, I mean, like, could happen. <laughs> well, that's a like, compliment. I was like, that's pretty awesome because, dude, it's what it looks like. He was cracking up. He was like, "Yeah, let's see Chimera going to the into the prime pit and solo this guy." And it happened. Nope. Not well, happening at Edgar, all. Will there be an emote? To slap your teammate when not in combat. Will there be an emote to what? Slap your teammate when not in combat, just to mess around. Probably not, because unfortunately, that is so a very quick road to toxicity. Yep. But also because that was already in Portal. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, can I see your ankle? You may not. Well, I mean, I don't know. You can't, you can't, you can't just go showing people your ankles. Yeah, rested for that. <laughs> These days, do I you, guess. Do you want to show demonic your ankles? I guess that's the question for you. I do, I do not. Okay. Sorry, you're not getting ankles today. That's a higher subscriber goal. <laughs> yep. That's uh, that's for that's for thirty bucks of swarbs only. Um, could there be a master with a cooldown steal with a cooldown steal or an attack 
uh, speed stability? Um, I'm all for, personally speaking, um, I'm all for masters who uh, can like increase teammates' cooldowns or uh, sorry, people who buff in increase debuff. enemy cooldowns and decrease teammates' cooldowns. Like I, I think those kind of things are cool, uh, but they do definitely need careful balance because those kind of heroes can very quickly end up in the the like ban list. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's playing that. Just you're just not. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where this prime boss, after he eats the people that weren't strong enough to defeat him, where does he poop? Uh, out of his butt. Or maybe he doesn't poop, maybe he just converts them into energy. Like I think energy. that, you know what, let's go with that. Just converts them uh, into boundless energy. Uh, how did you Extra get energy. Fair. How did you get the design for this model? Was it handed to you, or is it your own from the ground? How did I what? Sorry. Get the design for this model. Uh, so, uh, I I watched Pacific Rim and Pacific Rim Two both together within the space of a week. I came into the team's Discord server and I was like, guys, I got this idea. <laughs> Big fucking monster. And then, uh, and then Golden Week did a bunch of sketches, and you can see uh, a couple of those in the the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Those are kind of like the rough concepts that I'm working by, along with like the concept artwork from the Pacific Rim films, uh, from Godzilla movies, um, uh, yeah, Godzilla movies, and um, King Kong and stuff like that. Just like, just trying to push things to be like huge, like friggin' huge. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting kind of a Care Bear vibe, you know. <laughs> this guy yeah man i'm gonna give him like a like a rainbow halo <laughs> divine blades has joined the fray thanks for following um, for the for, for the diablo fans out there did anybody remember the uh, the the community backlash after uh, uh some of the some of the early diablo 3 pictures were revealed and there was the the rainbow from the waterfall in the background and people were pissed yeah <laughs> how dare you have rainbows in my game yep yeah. <laughs> And my favorite thing is Blizzard um, goes, oh, that pisses you off, huh? Well, let's add Whimsydale, Whimsyshire in there and see what yeah, you think about yeah. that. That is just epically awesome. God bless, <laughs> God bless Whimsydale. I will. Mega's ankles, those are not for sale. You're not going to sell your ankle? I'm not going to sell pictures. Now we are making the Swiss exercise ball for the Prime Boss so he can do his ab exercises. Yeah. You know, he needs to stay fit. Fit to to his dating profile. That's right. You, are you guys gonna do other bosses like this? Can we, I can do the voice acting. Oh, we already have a voice actor. <laughs> um, Hello. Grr. It's not Warren. Warren, um, is, Warren is not voice acting. We, we do not. We do not. Right. We do not need our prime boss sounding uh, Scottish. Scottish. Um. <laughs> if you if. Um, we probably are. Are we gonna have other bosses? Uh, yeah. th I think there's a couple of other jungle bosses actually. I think there's, there's something. I think, I, uh... I think there's, a, there's a few. There's, a few there's something in the works. Okay. So yeah, we are gonna. Have I uh, if you want cannot to be... wait to reveal that something. <laughs> and if you want to be a voice actor, we do have a, um, a process that you the Discord, and if you ask one of the community managers, they may be able to direct you in the, to the local. Looking for and yep, yep. for consideration. Good luck. Absolutely. Gotta be um, good though. Gotta be gotta be better than Omega. And Boof. And Boof's friend. And me. me. You gotta be better than me. See Boof has actually a very, very terrible voice for voice acting, but oh. <laughs> having edited so much of it, uh Throughout my work as an audio engineer, it gives you an idea of what needs to be done, how things need to be said, why they need to be said specific ways, and being able to actually have knowledge in the field that you're working in rather than be an expert at just, oh, I have a great, or I shouldn't say an expert, but somebody who just has a great sounding voice are two completely different things. I've known people who I listen to them talk and I'm like, do you have any idea the money that you could make <laughs> yeah. if you dedicated yourself? But 
being being a voice actor is it's not just you know oh, I can do this and it's incredibly incredibly dedicated individuals so you need uh, you need to sound a, a lot like Stephen Toast <laughs> that's exactly what you need <laughs> yes <laughs> first of all you yes! do not <laughs> Um, being a voice actor is not a voice. That's uh, a part of it, but you need to be able to act. So that's it. If you're a good actor, then definitely please, uh, please become a voice actor. And even if you're not, always practice and do try your best. Uh, if you don't get in this project, you can always check other projects that are looking for voice actors and audition for those, and you may get somewhere. So good actors. Good actors generally need to be... Or generally tend to be very, very good voice actors. And you know why that is? Because they, they train their voice. It's called about. It's called. It's called looping, folks. I mean, <laughs> like like eighty percent of the dialogue that you get when something's actually being filmed is tossed out and then re-recorded in the studio. And so they're watching themselves and the things that they've acted out, and they're reiterating their lines inside of a professional studio where they've got control over the audio. And in the midst of an actor doing that, they are also acting out the scene as well, generally. You know, you're not going to have somebody in there who's going through this, you know, vicious fight scene and somebody's in there, you know, in your little recording booth going, oh, I will destroy you. No, I mean, they're, they're doing their best to act out the sequence as well. And so, like Omega was saying, being an actor is very, very, very good for your, for your voice acting skills to go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Also, when you first listen to your voice, you're going to hate the way you sound. Yes, you, just, you will. You get through it. <laughs> your your the human head is a massive uh, reverb and echo chamber. So, what you hear when you talk is not what everybody else hears. You're gonna go. That's me. I sound like a friggin' ah uh, no. If you wanna if you wanna know how you uh, sound right now, just cup your hand over your ear and talk, and that's how you sound to everybody else. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh. Cup your hand over your ear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, I don't want to know how I sound to everyone else. <laughs> I just want to believe that I just have this silky smooth voice. Just... Uptight and tense. <laughs> uh, will, you, will you guys have a pick band system for ranked PvP? Yeah. I think that's, a... that's standard. Demonic answered it. Uh, I'm catching up. Catching up. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, a, a band system for the game? Yeah, yeah. like ranked mode, so pick yeah. band. Yep, absolutely. Uh, as far as I understand. <laughs> what's what's this release? And it's like Paragon, where for like a month and a half there is no rank. They're like, but you guys said rank with pick and band. <laughs> Expecting it if it happens. No, what's going to be awesome is uh, is we're going to have ranks when we're testing it in house. <laughs> we'll that get all our fucking this, Elo straight away to the top. This department is just fucking bronze. You don't even want them, you know, playing in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that'll be the coders. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, will yeah. there be separate limbs for each beast to keep random generation? For the prime beasts. No. <laughs> no. Um, everybody got time for that? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Although, like, there are other ways that we can customize him for special events. Like, I'm absolutely happy with putting, like, a Christmas hat on him for the winter and, you know. Maybe maybe some mistletoe between his legs. I don't know. I think a massive, a massive evil... Frosty the Snowman as the prime boss would be excellent during the winter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, I can do different textures and stuff. That's... <sighs> Frosty the prime boss. <laughs> Just put Richter's <laughs> Christmas skin on top of him. <laughs> um, how many ranks will be in the game? All of them. Oh. So many ranks. Um, More ranks than you going... can shake a stick at. <laughs> is there going to be a watch mode like Paragon has? Um, I think I we're know. we're we're definitely intending to have one. Um, whether it works in the same way or not, like. If... Um. 
What? I'm not 100. I'm not 100 familiar with Lobo, so apologies. It's no worries. Ask questions. You'll never know the answer if you don't ask. There's no such thing as a stupid. There is such a thing as stupid question. Um... Don't say that. <laughs> we Do won't... not say that. <laughs> it's not a stupid question. It's Google, but we are still happy to answer them for you. Absolutely. Cause... <laughs> Cause that's what we're like. We're nice people, good people. <laughs> no, Warren is, is not Warren beautiful. beautiful? Are there, are there, are there going, no. to, are there going to be PC high risk, is. high reward masters? Uh, we've we've talked about this a few a few times. Um, so we have theories about that, but we are aiming for that to be risky, rewardy, uh, different levels. So you'll have your entry, your intermediate, your advanced. Uh, the advanced ones will be more risky. But will be far more rewarding if you can pull them off. Uh, most games tend to have problem or quiet creatures here placed next to these terrestrial assets. Will there be alternative maps, like instead of cliffs, there are coral reefs, or will you try to fit the character or creature into the map itself? Um. So, as far as I'm aware, we're not intending to, at least in the short term, have any alternative maps. And that's largely like um that's largely just down to the fact that like each map has to be designed built balanced you know a, a ton of work that goes into making a map right um that's not to say we don't want these things it's just you know we have to be realistic about what we can actually deliver um in terms of like the characters and creatures and stuff and whether they fit in um we're just gonna have to do our best and make sure that they they do in some way like conform to the world around them um yeah that's that's the, the best answer i can give for that i'm afraid uh no no i'm talking about aquatic creatures how will you fit them in like a character or a monster I guess. um well what i would say is like if we were going to have a creature that typically lives in water but um but is for our game like on land for whatever reason then we would probably need to make sure that the hero has a lot of uh amphibian qualities um so, Land look, shark. so looking at looking at real world examples of uh amphibious creatures creatures that that live in live in the sea but you know or live in water but are comfortable with moving around on land as well Land shark. <laughs> Land shark. There are. Um, that's the weirdest thing. Uh. Has anyone has anyone seen the new Epic Games engine they're designing? Um. They are. Are they? I don't think they are. Can I? Land yeah. shark. I don't the think Unreal Epic are designing any The Unreal Engine, which is seems super alike to a real person, it's scary how similar it is. What? That question doesn't make sense. It sounds, it sounds like, uh, it's like some you're not supposed to have the information to. <laughs> uh, it's in, it's in, it's an update. Oh, you mean where they like the whole Andy Circus demo and stuff? It is just adding new features. Oh, okay. Um, new master idea: land shark with the old shark data. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to calm down. I'm down for land shark. <laughs> I'm also down for like. Land shark. I'm also down for like shark bears. There's a um, there's a character in a game called Beautiful, you know, and he's literally just like a shark, and I feel like he should be that character. Has anybody ever seen that meme about bears? It's like, what well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Except, Except a, bear. a bear, a bear will fucking kill you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we have a, if we have a bear character, we should name him Barry. Yep. Agreed. We just can't name him Tibbers. Or Boris. 
Boris the bear. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. That's the stereotypical Russian name for a bear. <laughs> it was also a character, a bear character that was supposedly the next character to be released by Epic in the Paragon. This monologue is from Alexander Hamilton, maybe. Like it. Something odd okay. is happening. Let's see. Uh, and you need to bunches. Do you have planned for alternative skins when they come out? Sorry, what's that? What kind of challenges do we have planned for alternatives? What kind of challenges do we have? I guess because we were talking about potentially having like a... Like if you get the, uh... You get a skin for doing the thing. I guess that's what I talked about. Oh yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean... We've got a few in mind. The, the, the problem we're having at the moment is that, um... The, the challenges we've talked about internally, like, oh yeah, let's let's say, like, if you do, like, if, if you get, like, a thousand kills on a carry, on a hero, then maybe you can unlock, like, uh, a, a special, like, trinket or whatever that can appear at the character's belt or, you know, whatever space on the character. The problem is, that sounds like a really, really fun thing that we could do, but then... Um, how do we stop people from taking that idea and going like uh, I'm gonna spoil other people's game because I'd rather focus on getting this trinket for myself than the rest of the game itself like how do we how do we stop how do we stop what should be a fun thing from becoming um, like a well essentially like a toxicity increased uh, thing <laughs> We've actually been discussing this in the uh, mechanics department, and I think we're on the right track, but we haven't settled yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the big the cred is gonna be the theorycraft of the master now. Let's see. If you guys have any more questions, totally ask them in the chat. It doesn't matter what they are, we'll do our best to answer them. Unless it's God of War spoilers, I won't do that. Okay. Yeah, we won't spoil, we won't spoil, we're not spoilers. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Can't wait for the animations on this thing. Uh, are we gonna be uh, are we done with the model and I'm working on textures today, Greg? Yep. Yeah. Some color on this boy. Textures are the fun bit. <laughs> stupid question. Is there there are no stupid question in the VL? Uh is there any plans for PvE, like arenas or dungeons, or is it just PvP? Uh as far as I know, it's just PvP for now. Yeah. Um, um yeah. How many people do you have working on? 
in the game's music aspect. I don't know. Well, Booth, Booth counts as like five people, so. <laughs> Booth here. Um, I do know that we have maybe like more than one, more than Booth marked on music. The one that we've showcased. I think that's right. So, um, maybe if Booth comes back and you see, um, he took a great break, he can give us more insights on that. Uh, textures of the pain in the eye. Uh, well, I mean, don't texture in 3DS Max. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not designed for it, you're gonna have a bad time. What would you recommend that people texture in? A professional opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything that allows you to texture directly onto the 3D model. So you've got, you've got different softwares for that. You've got like Pixel Suite, Substance uh, Painter, Mari, if you want overkill. Um, <laughs> you know, like Mari is designed for, for films and VFX stuff. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, don't texture in 3DS, mate. Uh, 3DS is 3DS is more of a you do rigging in 3DS, don't you? Uh, it's yeah, it's a DCC tool, so like modeling, yeah, yeah. rigging, animation, that kind of thing. Uh, Booth, you have anything What's that? Um, how many people do you have working on the game's music aspect? I. Oh, just, just me. You? Oh, man. Yep. Just me. But like I said, Booth is like five people. Yeah, Booth is so much. Uh, Booth doesn't do anything. He just hangs around. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way, man. Uh, Don't leave me. Enemy has harvested Beast Crystal. I'm using a lower quality <laughs> microphone now, but hopefully it's not distorted. Yeah. E enemy has harvested beast crystal. You better go stop him. You better go stop him. Like. <laughs> enemy has enemy has harvested beast crystal. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Isn't that what you were supposed to do? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> back to back to super savage announcer. <laughs> The enemy has harvested Beast Crystal. Nice going. <laughs> yep. That's, that's what I wanted. Oh, give me a sec, guys. Gotta pick my son up from school. Okay, oh, okay, man. Okay. Who's gonna go drive a bus? I mean, that... <laughs> what? <laughs> There is a grill, there is a beast, there is a rabbit. Oh man, yeah. Those are all things that we possess. What's that? If you want a grill, a robot, or or all featured within our game prominently. Uh, yeah. Or even if you guys just like want any of us to like read a specific line or something that you made, totally can do that here as well. Once we mm -hmm. hit 50 subscribers. When we have, once we hit 50 subscribers. <laughs> uh, if you guys, we'll do. It. <laughs> but if you if you get 50 subscribers, girl will do it too. <laughs> yep, yep, and I'll make it sound sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, oh, oh. I'll make it sound but, so hot. It's like, you may won't, my, you won't may even my heart ever be. <laughs> may my heart ever titillated. Uh, did I make it in time? Yes, the boy, you did make it in time. In time for the stream. Yes. Not sure why you wanted to, but, you know, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being here. I appreciate you being here. Crystal, mm, yeah, crystal. 
Wait, how many subs do we have? How many subs do we have, girl? We have 32 subs. We have 32 subs, guys. So 50 subs is gonna is our next goal. It's pretty ambitious. So it is know. pretty ambitious. But... but I'm an ambitious person. And none of us would be here if it wasn't for our ambition, so... <laughs> Hashtag... Here. Like, oh, 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 this this whole game project is incredibly ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, is this... Here, for sure. What's that? This is, we started a hashtag. Hashtag girl's a heartbreaker, for sure. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> is this so, true? Are you're you so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too! There's this guy in the stream, he's always just talking really nice to me. I feel like I'm in love. <laughs> I can easily imagine Prime Beast performing Godzilla's Fire Breath as one of the attacks. Then I've done my job. <laughs> if, like, if any of you guys can easily imagine any kind of like kaiju attack or whatever coming from this guy, then it means that I've done it right. <laughs> Uh, maybe I missed this question, but how many people do you have working on the game? We have about s roughly 70 people working on the game. Currently. Yeah. Um, boo -boo -boo -boo. Hell a lot. Actually. The Godzilla breathes out. Ooh. Ooh, man. What's that? We got a oppo is like a Godzilla professor. Actually breathes plasma, not fire. <gasps> My god. Oh no. Seven with the zero after it? It says 70. <laughs> uh, oh. Horn <laughs> winner. Okay. I thought it would be a lot less. Oh. Yeah, no, man. We, we are awesome with so you guys are so nice you guys are so awesome to subscribe to us and that we really appreciate uh, yeah totally and like the the other reason we have these subscriber goals is like once we hit the the 50 subscriber mark we're gonna be um or once we get close to it anyway we're gonna um be talking about like what we can give you guys in return for that so like we'll probably hold mm -hmm. another raffle we'll have a couple of prize winners um and uh, and those people will get to you know maybe choose like what we did when we when we had our initial subscriber goal was the winner got to pick um, something that could be put into the random minions so like they could basically make a, a you know design a part of the game essentially um, mm -hmm. or they could like request a, a custom voice line from Omega which I think one of the winners did and mm -hmm. um, and you could uh, ask the concept team to to you know draw something special just for you. Which nobody did. <laughs> Gosh, concept. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We love you, concept team. <laughs> you need to step it up. The horns remind me of Hollow Ichigo from Bleach. Um, Bleach? Bleach is an interesting an... Yeah, Bleach is an interesting anime. I think concept is cool. Concept is cool. We have cool concept. Yep. Our concept team works super hard. If you, you should today's national national hug a concept artist day. So if you see it in the general chat, make sure you tell them you appreciate them because we would not be able to design all the stuff without them. The responsible bits. Yes. Thank you for the response bits. Response bits. That's the word. That's we're gonna call re response bits. <laughs> Please donate response bits. <laughs> oh, uh, so if you guys think you want to donate but you can't, you also have the option to donate Dalar to us to Ogre. 
Yep, uh, Valar is a fun cryptocurrency developed by a bunch of game devs who were curious about how cryptocurrency worked, and they decided to learn about it in the way that game devs typically learn about anything, and that's by making their own one. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a valueless cryptocurrency. You can head over to Dalar.org. You can join the the Dalar Discord um, and uh, find out more about like how to get it. Uh, what what even is it? You know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and the, the motto of uh, of the of the Dalar cryptocurrency is: If you give a fuck, give a Dal. Uh, it's basically like if you think something's cool, if you if you've maybe learned something or, or whatever, you know, donate a little bit of dollar and say thanks, and that's that's an amazing thing to me. Like, um, it's just a, a fun way to show your appreciation of something. Mm -hmm. And you can learn about cryptocurrency. Uh... <laughs> cryptocurrency. What is it? Blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Buzzwords. Uh... We know them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, TMNT. <laughs> yes, TMNT. You need to responsibly sub. We're just making a whole bunch of portmanteaus today. Yep. Someone says that the eyes are really small. Uh, I, I actually kind of agree. I think I'm going to make them bigger. Or at least some of them bigger. Make them the Maybe just I might add just more. Like, tons of eyes. All the <laughs> eyes. Oh, actually, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil a little bit of something today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my! Oh my. I'm gonna Wait, show you guys oh, something, okay? something that that uh, that I've been working on internally, along with one of the other guys uh, who's been rigging and stuff. Uh, some of you may have seen uh, Mangus falling over. Well, today we finally managed to get the rig actually finally fixed. And, yes! Uh, yes! And now we have Cloth Simulation on Mangus. Oh, man. Cloth Simulation with wind and stuff and things. I like stuff and things and things. I love things and stuff. Um, my favorite things. For some reason it looks like the... It looks like the stream video is frozen? I don't know. Oh, I need to refresh the page, I think. Um... But yeah, we have uh, we have cloth simulation on Mangus, and it's super sweet. Look at that loincloth. Yeah, look at that loincloth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. So yeah, that's that's another thing that. So like, this is the, this is the thing. Like a lot of the, I'm just like I'm not not really working on the model while I talk about this. I'm sorry. Um, a lot of the. A lot of the time in the evenings when I'm not doing like my job work because I've finished for the day, or um, you know, like, I, or I'm not streaming, I'm doing other things behind the scenes in the game. So things like helping make sure that the rigs all work, making sure that we know how to do cloth physics and and stuff, and so like basically developing the pipeline and process for all of this stuff, uh, so that when we do other heroes in future. Um, you know, everyone should be able to just know how to do it, or like the documentation is in place for us just to do it. Um, mm -hmm. And that that kind of sucks up a lot of my time. I I do feel like I rush the stuff that I'm doing in the streams a little bit because I'm like, oh, it, it's it's like in my head I'm going. If I was working on this full time, it should only take me like four or five weeks to do. And so I give myself the same amount, uh, the same number of weeks to finish it in, even though I'm only doing it like three hours an evening, three evenings a week, <laughs> um, which is yeah, which is kind of silly. Should um, maybe give myself more time. Seven eight nine says that Agnes is their main. Sweet. Uh, you can call a main. <laughs> yeah, you can you can call a main this early on. I don't mind. Demonic. Demonic is a prime beast thing. Uh, uh, Almighty, are you considering adding scarring on the arms? Yes, 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 yes. So after I've um, after I've finished up with the crystals, um, I'm going to be like puckering up the the skin areas around the crystals. I'm going to be adding scars all over him. So like, I kind of feel like he would have scars like on the on on like his knuckly areas on his around his knees. Um, maybe like a couple of big scars on the chest, that kind of thing. 
maybe even like lose one of the eyes, you know, like have have one of the eyes be like clawed out or something. Yeah, um, something up on its oh, face. Man. Yeah, just you know, really fuck this guy up. <laughs> uh, and That's as for the mad. as for the whole like uh, prime prime beast main thing, um, I actually did. I, I I brought this up this idea up. I think in one of the streams. Maybe I'm wrong, but I was like, it would be really really cool if we could have one of them like. Because of the way that this beast has been created, he's not really natural. He he like he didn't evolve to be like this. Someone made him this way. So I personally thought it would be kind of cool if we could maybe have a master who is like actually related to this thing, um, and is like a far less kind, of, far less big, uh, far less kind of like mutated and and uh, grotesque thing, and is basically like looking for his brother, cousin, father, whatever. Um, and like it could be really cool, like if if they're part of the the group of people that brings brings down the beast, like he could have like a unique voice line that's like, "I'm so sorry, brother," or you know that kind of shit. We're all about the feelings yeah. up here. You know, here. story, <laughs> words, feelings. Um, doo -doo -doo. what are the attacks of the prime beast going to be? Obviously, they are melee, but I hope we won't be able to kite them, move and dodge around the boss attacks and attack them all. What are the attacks of the Prime Beast going to be? They're going to be huge. <laughs> huge attacks. That was like really it. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Illusions, <Whatever>. Michael. <laughs> um, Summon sunglasses on Prime Beast. Probably whip up some uh, sunglasses, but... No, I must focus today. I must... Uh, or have him cosmetically change once he gets slain. He loses one eye. You kill him. He's slain twice. Three things times like horn. things like that are are actually more difficult to do than people realize. Um. So while I'd love to do them, like they're they're not really a priority for for launch. You mm -hmm. mauled the priority. <laughs> oh, got him. Um. Sorry. It would probably be cool to have a small or different version of Prime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> more. Uh, yeah, I'm a more. So, are we gonna have a mini Prime Booth or, or Grex's grandma? Oh man, I've got a photograph of Booth's legs, man. So I'm definitely gonna make a hero that has Booth legs. <laughs> just literally have a read of there's four pictures of it was like the, the calves of doom yeah <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, kicking it. it's either that or dr kelso man like kelso kelso legs yep um oh my god i feel you like so i'm reading everything when it comes up on the screen actually live streaming he girl's not live streaming directly to us we're watching the stream just like you guys are so whenever something up on stream i read it when i react to it when it comes up on stream yeah 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 that's that's how it works <laughs> uh unfortunately like my internet connection isn't strong enough to handle like uh two independent video feeds like one that doesn't have a delay for these guys and, and all that stuff like it i, I can <laughs> can't deal with that god damn <laughs> <laughs> give the boss a phase two when his p bar is half hit change and he becomes a very very aggressive oh no like i'm cutting out am i cutting out guys uh, occasionally but not too bad yeah i can't hear it um and maybe my internet has been uh imploding recently I blame comcast uh that's a thing that we I'll do right we blame comcast for talk. internet is issues i can't i can't use blame comcast i have to blame time warner Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Why not both? Game. I mean, valid. Uh, I'll try to talk more directly into the microphone in case that's the problem. Game theory time. Prime Beast is an experiment. God, probably right. There's a maleficent force at play in the world that creates these monstrosities. Dunno, man. I mean, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had someone on the law team in the stream to be able to talk about this stuff. 
Do we have any uh, lore guys online? Not the either. lore team, the programming team, and the sound design team. Other than Gamag, someone wants to ping him. What's a Gamag? Is he online? Uh, yeah, we can ping him if he wants. Not sure. I did that in the wrong chat. There we go, send. Just have an item that gives you a speed buff called the power of boof. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, you can't hear me clearly, but you can hear the others. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe my, my dog. Maybe your what? My uh, my recording software. Oh, okay. Um, boop, boop, boop. Oh, we have a question. What kind of master would each of you create if you had full freedom with nothing holding you back? Uh, well, I made Mangus, so, you know, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 I made Mangus, so, so I'm kind of happy in that regard. Like, I I was basically given free reign to, to do what I wanted. Uh, originally, Mangus was going to be male, uh, and I was like, nah, I, w I want to make boobs. So, <laughs> that's how that happened. Somebody hopped in. More on now as I'd go crazy if I could, uh, if I could make some characters with free reign. Uh, I'm gonna make a fun character. Like, everybody seems like all like, ah, oh, so serious, angsty, mo angst. I would make, uh, like Echo from League or like Zoe. Something that's like sarcastic. <laughs> really cracks all the time. Probably a support. Probably a very passive aggressive support. <laughs> a steampunk master with crazy gadgets that help fly, shoot, etc. What kind of buffs are you guys looking to put to the game? Hello? Uh, what kind Hello? of buffs are we looking to put in the game? Uh, big ones, buffy ones. Uh, buffiest buffs. Buffiest buff, <laughs> the buffest buff. No, I think uh, someone from Mechanics needs to answer that one. I, I can't. Uh, mechanics? We don't have a Mechanics guy here, do we? Nope. Nope. Well, I mean, oh. yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're asking the hard questions. Uh. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please stop with the the thing is. Uh, please make a Viking type master, a jungler who has a berserk fighting style with two axes. And his ult makes him unstoppable. Yeah, I mean that sounds that sounds neat. Sounds like a yeah, sounds a lot like uh, yeah. <laughs> Prime Beastie. Uh, sounds, we like, play. Sounds, sounds a lot like sounds a lot like Kratos. Not that I'm complaining. We play MOBAs, guys. We're gonna have to try harder to pull the wool over our eyes. <laughs> I missed it. What sounds like Kratos? Uh, um, someone someone asked, please make a Viking type master 
who's a jungler who has a berserker fighting style with two axes, and his ult makes him unstoppable. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's Spartan Spartan rage right there. <laughs> what is the loading screen gonna be? Splash R, just to play the loading screen. We had little ideas. I thought the loading screen was gonna be Warren doing hip thrusts. Whoa. And that's oh, how yeah. we that's how we lose players. He'll be wearing his socks. <laughs> Ouch. Uh he will only be wearing one sock. I mean, one can, sock. Can we just oh. can we just take a can we just take a moment to to deal with how savage that was? <laughs> we love Warren very much. We love him as well. Uh how many boobs are almighty boobs? How many? How many what? How many boobs are too many boobs? Um, if that's a question that you have to ask, I guess you've never seen boobs. <laughs> uh, I guess the question is: the ra is the ratio of boob possessing people to n boob possessing people oh, going you're right to back. be? <laughs> Um, I mean, we're we're aiming to have like a nice variation between uh, the number of well, just the number of like genders, genderless, like aliens, all that kind. Of, yeah, we're we're aiming to have like a fair distribution. Um... We don't want we don't want anyone to feel like alienated or or put out because like they they feel misrepresented or unrepresented. Mm -hmm. Um, I want the little screen with the boobs. Man, you guys and boobs. <laughs> Shh, calm down. Boobs are awesome. <laughs> Except the boobs that are right in front of you, and we'll work on them. Kind of like asking an orc, like, have you got enough DACA? Never enough DACA. Or DACA. Hello. 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 What's up, guys? Uh, my blood pressure. <laughs> nice. We're doing a job. Stre getting stressed out by all these people asking questions about things that I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to answer so bad, but you can't. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. Uh, again, I said we can't talk about those things yet. Sadly. Sorry, guys. We tried. What can't we talk about? About theory crafting. Uh, uh. Just like, we can't talk about all the things yet. Just not received the okay. Yeah. Otherwise, the ban hammer will fall upon us. <laughs> we are currently under. We are contractually obligated to not share this information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you join the team, you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement and everything. Well, before you join the team, you have to sign that. Yeah. Really harsh. It's really unfair. Uh, Captain Spicy is wants... ripping us all off, but yeah, okay. Yeah. So hashtag that's blame Captain Spice. Spice. Yeah, hashtag Guys, blame Spice. That's on the NDA. We can't talk about that. Oh. Uh, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but me wants the lores. We want to share the lores, but we cannot share the lores at the. Yeah, it's point. it's it's, and it's not just a case of we we can't share the lores. It's like. We don't know enough about the law to make sure that we answer correctly. Like we want to make sure that like accurate information is given. So um, we need someone from law to be in the stream to answer those questions. And no one from law is online that we know of. Uh, so y'all are shit out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have you made blue physics or not yet? Okay. Have we made what? <laughs> boob physics. Where's boob the dog physics. in the background? Um. Well, if, bo if boob physics are as fun to do as cloth physics, uh, I mean, it should be okay.
Oh. Oh, are we getting one cheer? Whenever you pop? No. We're getting a what? Uh, I'm looking at uh the police message. Oh, sorry guys. You're fine. Boof. Boof. What's happening, everybody? BB. Oh. Uh, Crazy. Do Dojo Kun Tigre has joined the fray. Thanks for following. Oh, why does this thing have to be doing this now? <laughs> um, I think Roof's having problems. We... Life issues. Oh, oh it's all good. Should be more fun, no? What should be more fun? Should we be on? Uh, can we be more fun? Tell us how we can make this more fun for you, man. I'm plenty mm -hmm. fun, thank you very much. <laughs> what is what, what is this? Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Give ass lovers their share too. What 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 is? Uh oh, I think they're like you know. I think for the design, you mean? I think yeah. I think I think they just want like it to not just be boobs. They want butts as well. Oh okay, all right, all right. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm totally down with that. Like I'm I'm all about the all about the butt. <laughs> is it possible that you have two characters that are? Special voice lines for each other that sometimes disturb the audience, like Zaya and Rakan. I mean, man, I don't see why not. That's, that's, I mean, if you gotta walk, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sometimes disturb the audience. Here's the thing: you gotta realize. It's easy to disturb an audience now because if you're going to have a game with a player base of let's just see, let's just say ten thousand people on the player base, it's impossible to say anything that will not offend someone. So, or pass someone off. I gotta do some glass, some glass lines. Uh, okay. I mean, you guys could you guys could win the match and simply just say something. That was a good match. Thanks, guys. Somebody's going to be offended that you said that. People, oh, man. Oh, what a bunch of bastards. <laughs> what do you mean, good match? I mean, dude, you died three times and it was ridiculous. But it's going to happen. So just, okay. just realize. Yep. Let's see. I'll do some Being Gladys offended is a choice. <laughs> Hello, and again. Welcome Rainbow to the Crystal. Aperture Sun Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed and we are now ready to Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goal of all enrichment center activity injuries may occur. For your safety and the safety of others, please refrain from touching Por favor, botón de Muchas gracias, gracias. And back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> what the hell? I was just along for the ride. Interesting. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Uh, I like Jin's voice lines. Have to see cool voice lines with masters if that's a thing. We're working on it. It's basically Season. Omega's only job on the team. So. <laughs> just right talking stream. Nice. Okay, I'm back for real. Hi. Hi, welcome back. For real. You, for real. Let's hear Hi, for real. I'm uh, dad. You're fired. For real. <laughs> gosh, gosh, gosh almighty. I'm so offended by your dad. <laughs> Be offended, boy. Uh, I don't care. So offended. So is, is Price just going to main ADC again? Oh, hell yeah. Damn it, I don't even want to play. Are <laughs> <laughs> <How> you guys <laughs> play? <laughs> play? You can't play, can you? Yeah, you can play till tomorrow morning. Oh, it's till tomorrow morning? Oh, okay. I just told my eight-year-old that Paragon didn't exist anymore, and she was what? emotionally distraught. That's not fair. Oh, I, I, was, I was expecting, like, complete ambivalence. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, don't talk to me about your problems, Dad. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, on the Paragon Discord, there was someone earlier who was talking about how he was playing his last games, and he asked, I think it was his brother, to turn down his uh, iPad or whatever so that he could concentrate, and his brother went, Why? It's just a game. Uh, I mean, he's not wrong. I, I kind of saw your brother. <laughs> <clears throat> well, what is he doing on his iPad? Why do you have your iPad so loud? It's just a movie. 
<laughs> Let's see. Um, Headphones. Serious. I issue. hope it was a movie. What kind of movie was it? Uh, we won't go into that. Hang on, hang on. There's a serious question. I need to know. Uh, I believe some of your team has connections with other game dev. So is it possible no. in the future that lead to cosmetics like skins and voice lines based off other games? No one is related to Epic Games on our team. Um, <laughs> I would say, uh, and in answer to that question directly, I would probably, I, I would say, probably not because whenever you, whenever you make uh, something that's intellectual pro property belongs to someone else, you have to pay for it. Like, it's it's yeah. so licensing, rare to, baby. Yeah, it's so rare to get like a, a free free to use license or whatever. Um, and to add to that, before people even start asking, well, Epic released um, free assets for not using them. And um, uh, you used to like you have to Crisis you have to in pay there them. For the kill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, oh. Hi. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Um. So, oh yeah. So for for those of you in the public that haven't met May yet, May is uh, I don't know what May does. What do you do, May? HR. That's one half HR. Right. My eight. Yeah, May is part of our half right team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Introduce yourself, May. I have no idea what to say, honestly. So yeah, May May is part right. of our, May is part of our HR team. So if you have applied to work on our project and not heard back yet, it's probably May's fault. Um, That's a lot. Under the bus. So <laughs> it's not only hashtag blame um, Spice, it's hashtag blame May. All right. Blame Blame HR. Blame Canada. Uh, blame Canada. Um, <laughs> other than Omega, who else do you have doing? Voice lines. Uh, Boof. Boof does voice lines. Ooh. Got a couple. Got a couple different people that we have. Uh, we have doing VO right now. Yeah, you have. Um, I'm doing them. Uh, Oni, who's coming here for a couple of streams for a little bit, is helping as well. Uh, yeah, we have a couple yep, of folks. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. please, please, please do an announcement. Voice pack on that. I guess it. Well, uh, where was that? In the chat uh, by Anto Antocoso. I'm the only one on this team who's full calm, so your your chances are pretty slim. Um, Keep Wukong away. <laughs> Wukong exists in every MOBA. Yeah, so like, we we there's actually been like a huge internal debate about Wukong. Um, in the interest of transparency, I can give you the broad strokes of the argument. Uh, there's basically like one group of people that's like, we love Wukong, and then another group of people that's like, Wukong's boring, everyone has Wukong, what's the fucking point? <laughs> Guess which one Almighty's in. <laughs> Guess which one's Boof's in. <laughs> Y'all are uh, terrible. I just don't like monkeys. <laughs> What's wrong with hey. Well, it, it's that's actually a funny, funny thing. Crisis. It, it depends on which. It depends on where I'm playing. If I'm solo queuing, I'll take Wukong all day long. <laughs> if I'm playing with people that I know that are competent, can do their, can run their roles, then he's the last jungler I'll pick. <laughs> um, let, let me ask it this way: If I'm ADCing, who are you playing? Oh, Rampage. Hey. Um. Rampagne. Uh... Are we well, going actually, we can't even say that anymore. Paragon's gone, no! It's not gone. We're fixing yeah. it, calm down. <laughs> Technically, uh, it's still here just now. Okay, Are it's we... not gone, but the hangman has pulled the lever, the floor has given way, and it's dropping. The neck is about to crack. Yeah. yeah. I just saw someone on the uh, Paragon TV, or featured part, playing the tutorial. Uh, I, oh I no, are you serious? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, someone played the tutorial. Oh, oh yeah. Geez. Are we going to see skin variations like the electricity one with Wukong and Paragon? Uh, well, you that's just mean potential for the future? Yeah, that's, that's all potential stuff for the future. But... I think he means like tier two, tier three skins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like yes, we're gonna have we're gonna have different variations on things like that. Um, the 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 kind of the system that I have in mind at the moment 
is different from Paragon in that you'll be able to like pick and choose the colors or the materials that you want for your for your master rather than have like just three generic color variations per per skin tier, which is boring. Um, that's that's my own like personal goal for it anyway. Um, yeah, it would, it would be awesome to have like four or five different variations of skin and then be able to recolor all of those. That mm -hmm. would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. Is like if we have a few different tiers of skin and then for each one of those tiers, you can be, like and the, and the tier would basically be. Uh, mesh changes, yeah. So like differences in the mesh itself. So like we'll take we'll take Magnus as an example. Like if maybe like one of her outfits is like a, a ball gown or something instead of her actual like you know she's it's like her formal wear <laughs> you know or whatever. <laughs> um, or maybe like she she has like a space suit or something you know like just like com something completely different. Those would be like the tier skins. Um, but the actual like colorization and stuff that to me should be up to the player Yeah, mm. and then we also talk about weapons Yes, like uh, but, Weapon transmogs, uh, but we didn't yeah. but we haven't made that public so thanks man. Oh shit. Sorry <laughs> Fuck and leaks everywhere Um, Are you going My to be are you are you going to make the solo lane for bu bruisers so you don't get flamed by an entire team or building for building on a speed item? That's, that's I believe I believe that's the plan. I believe we have solo lane, mid lane, and then we have the two v two lane. And so yeah, solo lane is going to be the um, the big bruisers over there. I believe. I think I'm not. Don't quote me on that. From what I understand, I, I believe that's the plan. But I could be just so off with that. It's ridiculous. Uh, new hashtag, hashtag me did it. What's that? New hashtag, hashtag me did it. What? <laughs> hashtag me did it. <laughs> hashtag oh god, god damn it, me. Hashtag <laughs> me did it. Hashtag sick boof. Guys, okay. you why? <laughs> You're just showing it the Overwatch way. <laughs> Says, will you guys make skins you get only from playing a certain master a lot? Uh, is is that a plan? Um, I think that falls into the into the territory of like, are we going to have master skins and stuff like that? Uh, and the yeah. answer and the answer to that is like, we we definitely want to find fun ways to reward people who like truly are really really good at a master, but we don't think that. Um, or this is the current train of thought anyway, we don't think that amount of time played is is a qualifier for any form of reward because, you yeah. know, it does it, it's not really hard work just to play for a long time. Um, oh. Yeah. Getting pentakills with ADCs, that's difficult, <laughs> you know, I mean... Getting, Especially I mean, if you have someone like Boof on your team. <laughs> um, are, will different skins My... have different animations? Well, different skins have different animations. That? Maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. um, again, that's something that's like, you know, we're a long way away from from being able to like confirm any of that stuff. It's it's one of the. It'd be nice if we could, but you know, yeah. For the moment, we want to make sure everything works and is cool. So like at the moment, the, Almighty hates me. The the thing about being able to uh, change, like the the colors for your master. That's something that like it's gonna need a lot of testing and it's gonna gonna take a lot of time to make sure that it actually works and stuff and you know um, what like but once I've got once that's actually in and working then we can work on like additional skins. Yeah, <laughs> Gur, I think it's important for you to know that I have previous work that you've done uh, pictures of this prime beast literally as my screensavers i'm not even kidding oh thanks man <laughs> dude it's um, freaking awesome when once it once it's properly done i'll make some actual like wallpaper shots in the engine and stuff for you oh just, gosh just okay you, that would be <laughs> um make sure they're 21 by 9 please well might see it does look amazing man. oh what you you want like a dual dual screen wallpaper type thing I've got I I use I use twenty one to nine ratio screens, it it helps a lot with uh, music editing, fair enough audio editing, so yeah I'll do my best. We've man. got we've got a 
few of those. Almighty, oh. can I stretch a little bit and say, can you make a 4K one? Because I have a 4K monitor. I mean, sure. Hey. <laughs> I mean, like, I w what I really want is to be able to pose the high poly and then get it uh, 3D printed. I think that'd be neat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Get some That's 3D color prints of these characters. Oh, my gosh. Like, That's something we could take do. Take my money. Like, whoever, um, like, people who reach the sub goal or who win the raffle, um, they can get, like, figures, if you get what I mean. <laughs> That could be cool. Don't just say stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't just say stuff though, man. Like we have to we have to talk about this. Internally before we announce it. True. <laughs> I'm a dingus and I'm not. Get out, a... Crisis, you're just leaking <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Okay, I'm gonna leak something that people don't know and they have to know this. Our first twenty five characters are all supports, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, <boo. laughs> oh, if you guys have any that, if, about for, for those who I know will take that literally, that's a joke. If you have any questions about HR, May is here to answer those questions as well. Yeah, god damn it, May. <laughs> what do you mean, god damn it? <laughs> it's all your fault. Do you have any of those pressing HR? How many more weeks until the next P uh, POC? Uh, I think someone um, said the four, the 14th. Four, May the 14th? May the 14th is the state of the game release. That's right. We already ten have day, the... 10 days after Star Wars Day. Hey, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> yes. That's a huge thing here in the states. What about over? What about in the UK? Uh, no, we don't tend to do many stupid things. Okay. I think I think, I think Brexit's probably the wow. biggest one. But... Rude. I don't, I don't know. You guys are trying to ban knives, so. I mean, yeah, we 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 don't enjoy people being stabbed. I mean, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Let's get back to eating our steak with our hands. <laughs> No, that's not the kind of knives that. Uh, God damn it, Boof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just giving you crap, man, I swear. <laughs> Stream how the work. It's fine, you're here now. It's too bad. And that's what matters. These are literally some of my favorite people on the planet, I swear. Um, where do you learn to design like that? And what program do you use? ZBrush. I am Ooh, currently ZBrush. using ZBrush, and I learned to do this by just doing it. Uh, I know that sounds like a really shitty answer, but that's literally how I learned to make game art. Uh, Welcome you, to my life. By, by, you go by look, just picking it up and getting on with it. <laughs> you, go, you go look at any quote on quote off tutorial on the internet of ZBrush and everybody goes, you know, this is how you do this, but really you just got to kind of get in here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it, and it, and it's true. Like any any, I mean any ende endeavor in the world, I would say. But but art, but art, yeah. any form of art, more than than other things, it's all just hands-on learning. Just just fucking yep. get get stuck in and get, get in to it. it. Yep. You know, um, the, 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 the there will be audio engineers out there. I mean, pick up Pro Tools and start learning how to use that program. Well, pick we say we say we say pick up Pro Tools, but Pro Tools is fucking expensive. <laughs> If you're That's like not me, too terrible. Okay, you... I mean, go for cubing <laughs> or logic or digital oh, performance. Yeah, 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 I suppose. Yeah. Um, That's fair. I use personally a uh, cakewalk by. Uh... <gasps> I used to love no, Mark the Unicorn is cakewalk. I used to love cakewalk, and and I I got really into uh, Ableton. Um, at one point. Yeah. Really enjoyed the newest Ableton. version of cakewalk. Uh, cakewalk got bought, so it's free, and they released it for free. The full version. So you gotta realize, Avid Pro Tools. I mean, if you're talking about picking up an HD system, yeah, you're talking about five digits there. You're mm -hmm. ten grand uh, if you're gonna pick up any kind of ADDA converter. But I mean, it, the software itself for Pro Tools HD is a grand, and then by picking up an HDX card, it's gonna be three or four thousand dollars. So, mm -hmm. but you do not have to get HD. You can buy the poor man's version of Pro mm -hmm. Tools, which is nothing wrong with that because it works wonderfully. 
until you can step up. The only reason you're going to want to step up into an HD, HDX system is the fact that you get PCIe DSP cards, so your CPU is no longer carrying the load, and you can seriously start doing massive work in surround sound. So. We have a question for you, my dear. Uh, May, you here? I'm here. What is the team currently most in need of? Um... Characterized. More mandatory nap time. <laughs> and that, yeah. Yeah, give... give you heard it here, folks. We need more mandatory nap time. Yep, that's very oh. needed. I think, uh, I think character artist is pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, I say that as part of the character art team, just like, give me, give me more help. <laughs> um, uh, there's, there's three character artists at the moment, and we're, we're all kind of stretched thin. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good that you're back with your beer, mac and cheese. That sounds like a delicious meal. Snap. Did you just say lobster mac and cheese? No, root beer and mac and cheese. Oh, root beer and mac and cheese. Okay, I thought she said lob. I thought I said lobster mac and cheese. I was, I was starting to salivate. So, um, yep. accidentally kill someone in Texas while at home. Put a spoon in his hand and claims it was an arm. Claims it was an arm trespasser. I mean, that's that's what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, America. Um, America. So the next model you're going to make is uh that's a good question because it was going to be theo but i've seen this this other one that's being developed internally and i'm all like ooh, ooh. <laughs> i've seen like recent concepts for it and i'm just like ooh, oh i like that one <laughs> Girls, <laughs> that cheating boyfriend <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah absolutely absolutely <laughs> Almighty likes what he sees. Yeah. <laughs> Almighty likey. <laughs> Magnus next. I'm oh, not Magnus. <sighs> I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm working just... off not a lot of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. See, this is what I mean by more mandatory nap time. <laughs> May knows what she's talking about. I am 100% in awe of what Almighty does in this. It's just, it's fan freaking tastic that you're able to create like this. Yeah. It's really, really good. I'm just, uh, I'm just duplicating stuff and moving it around right now. <laughs> this is, this, this is, is like, this is gonna be super boring for some people. Some people are probably watching this like, it's like, where's the sculpting, man? Where's the, the actual work? <laughs> this is this is an art. This is just moving moving stuff around, man. You're absolutely right if you think that. <laughs> this crystal took a lot of work to make that. To make uh, this I crystal. think I think the the expression is work smart, not hard. <laughs> yep, smarter, not harder. Uh, Cakewalk by Bandcamp. That's what it is. Cakewalk was bought by Bandcamp. Cakewalk was bought by Bandcamp? I thought Cakewalk was part of the Mark of the Unicorn. Mm -mm. Uh, so Cakewalk, uh, the company Bandcamp, Bandcamp bought Cakewalk and then they uh, released the entire thing free after they did some updates to it. Gotcha. Nice. So if you guys are looking for a, um, looking to get a new digital audio workstation and, or a DAW and you don't have money or don't want to pay or just try it out, check out a cakewalk by Bandcamp. Jeez, how long have has it been since I've worked with Mo2 stuff? Yeah, last time I worked with Mark of the Unicorn, they owned a cakewalk. <laughs> That's hilarious. Rainbow crystals on, on Prime. <laughs> Bandcamp is old school. Hey, hey, they updated it. <laughs> we should yeah. uh we should have the prime buff after he uh deletes, you know, someone who came in to try to solo him, have him emote <laughs> and sing have him emote and sing I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> uh, I'm down for that. The savagery. 
Will we be, will we be, will we be, I am good at English. I am a voice actor. Will we be able to cut the beast's tail off and get a secondary buff from the boss? No. Nope. <laughs> Sounds like an, an awful lot of work for me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I've no, got to be honest, man, like I'm not I'm not down for that. I don't I don't want to work. <laughs> Cutting the tail off reminds me of that, um, what's that game? Monster Hunter? Yeah, somebody said. Can, yeah, we can cut somebody the tail off and get more stuff from it. Yeah, lol, is this small? <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, another one voice pack for Prime Beast when someone tells it. What? I'm back. We were talking about, um, Prime Beast voice packs. I think this has got to the point to where our, our prime buff would kick the crap out of a Balrock at this point. Uh, he is of similar size, certainly. Yep. It'd be a good scrap. <laughs> you guys gonna... It's still being discussed. <laughs> Do we know, uh, have they talked about prime dunk? Does anybody know anything about that? We haven't talked about it yet. Haven't talked about it? Okay. Um, oh, like, I'm still gonna keep still and get a lot there. Uh, Y'all played Paragon today? Just finished my last round. I was going to um, dream me figures. <laughs> but then I got home and we had to start streaming this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to have uh, fucked up your day. <laughs> no, it's fun. <laughs> I prefer hanging out with you, girl. Winky face. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, HR's in the room. Shit. <laughs> HR, May! <laughs> May, girls be mean to me. May, I guess down. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell HR and she's gonna tell Captain. <laughs> Fired as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sit here. I sit here in so. I'll sit here insulting Omega, and Warren will get fired for it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I want that. If you get executed, most enemy, they'll flame you like, "Omg, you really died to this." Uh, we were considering being like a potential, um, like this passive aggressive announcer. And she just like berates you for everything you do. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I'm all on board with that. <laughs> An ally has well made poor choices. You could even have you could really even have it that. you could even have it in the draft. Like, oh, you're gonna pick that <laughs> hero. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that thing is so not garbage tier. <laughs> <laughs> Offense to you, but <laughs> um, Well, I guess this is your first mobile, so let me tell you what trash means <laughs> I'm just a... I bet you don't know how this works um, <laughs> Don't pick that one <laughs> I went ahead and picked somebody more suited for your skill level. <laughs> um, the prime buff is dominating. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, shame I'm still in children's shoes with 3D art. Pretty hard. Keep practicing, White Pulse. I believe in you. Yeah, sorry, what was the question? They're just saying that they're still in art, otherwise they would definitely try to help. <laughs> um, do you guys have any plans for like heroes? Mm hmm? Hmm? Just element-specific heroes. Um... Um... <laughs> Open, but no confirmation? I guess would be the appropriate answer. <laughs> um... <laughs> um... 
a Team Fortress style announcement. You suck. <laughs> uh, will there be a master like Achilles with an execute that will be reusable if he if the last was a stun? Um, this is a personal opinion, but I was never a fan of the execute mechanic. <laughs> but having said that, there is concepts with it on, and if it does get voted in or. If the team does want a hero with an execute, then I see no reason it will not be in the game. We talking about the for minions or for a hero to have execute mechanic? I think it, uh, Achilles from I think it's LOL. I could be wrong. I could be no, it's Smite. It's Smite. It's Smite. It's Smite. <laughs> I know it's Smite. I knew what I meant to say. I, I fucking knew what I meant. You're about to tilt everyone. <laughs> so that's the so um Sparrow Sparrow. That's the one from Dota too, right? <laughs> You do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Yeah, I agree. An execute for the uh, hero oh, no. does go down in a sense for a skill level, but it depends on what you trade off to have that execute. Yeah, because like in League of Legends, there are a whole bunch of characters. Jinx, uh, the you see Jinx, she her ultimate. Is but it's like a really thin line. It's and you, it's even global, and it's really easy to miss if you try to shoot somebody from across the map. So it's like if you have a good trade up for it, it's an execute. Well, it really is an execute. Oh, you do more damage because the enemy is weaker. I mean, like I have no issue with doing more damage to say critically wounded, but I don't like the execute mechanic. If that helps you out with how I feel about it. Here's here's the thing. When they put the execute mechanic in just for minions, all of that really did was help lower or, or, or newer players try to get a handle on last hitting. That didn't affect high tier players at all. High tier mm -hmm. players were still going to last hit and they were going to last hit more than the people that were playing across from that maybe weren't as uh, as experienced as they were. So it actually um, reduced the amount of um, micromanagement high tier players had to worry about. For instance, like if I was in lane, I did not have to worry about lost hits at all. I would just wait for the red bar and then I'd lost it and I'd get almost all of my lost hits the whole time just because it was that easy. Early but uh in one lift, it was hard to um sufficiently um stay ahead and farm out farm your um opponent you'd have to think it, it turned into a really big methodical um side of the game and not a lot of people got that side if uh if we're thinking about if we're talking about executes though uh does anyone in here actually like the change they did to feng mao where he got an execute because personally, for me, he lost a lot of character with that rework. He lost a lot. Of well, it wasn't just the execute as well. I mean, they took away his hamstring. Whoa, and slow, yeah, the slow. Yeah, I mean, and his animation. Uh, I didn't like his new animation as much. Yeah, it looked terrible. I missed helicopter thing now. Oh yeah. Um, I think it's the only hero I don't have a video of from back then is when he helicoptered. Uh, it's audio. Like, will you be able to hear a jungle? Uh, Tune fighting a camp if you're if you're close enough. Uh, that's something that the program uh, that the coders would have to deal with. That's a wise question. Sorry, what was it? What was the question? Uh, well, are there any plans for distance of audio? Like, will you be able to hear a jungle tune fighting a camp if you're close enough? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just dist audience distance. Is, audio audio distance is really really easy to do in Unreal, like super easy. Mm -hmm. It's not even a programming thing. Like for every sound effect that you put in the game, um, you almost have to add some form of um, uh, I can't remember the name. It's it's basically a blueprint type that you attach to it, um, and you can have different fall off distances or no fall off at all. But it's like you have to have it if you want the sound to work in the game. Um, so yeah, like we can just make sure that the the, the stuff in the jungle has a good fall off. 
So yeah, here you go. <laughs> so now you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe, the real <laughs> American hero. Yeah, we can solo prime. No, we can't. Just go do it, Wukong. Kamura. Kamura. This god dang Kamura. Uh, Kamura. Kamurka. <laughs> I bet he uses charcoal on his barbecue. <laughs> Somebody get my propane tank. <laughs> but the last hitting mechanic mostly hurt the tier players, which everyone forget about. Being able to out to outfarm someone is a learned skill and being and can be applied at the middle tier of players. To learn mechanic, League tried to change and has now gone in the opposite direction. I 100% agree with that statement. Which part of the statement? That whole statement. Lost heading is an essential part of MOBAs, especially for the carry role. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Like for instance, hyper carries. That's where hyper carries shine. Is if they're able to outfarm their ADs, their enemy ADC, they will win the fight. Just because they played smart, they knew, hey, I'm a hyper carry. I need to play safe. I need to get my farm up. They got them French rat taters. Mm hmm. <laughs> Is Prime is Prime going to have magical attacks like Firebrow? Don't know, to be honest. Don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> that, that actually is <laughs> kind of that's kinda of hilarious, isn't it? Like you you design the character, but then what the abilities and everything look like, that's something and someone else completely. Yeah, that's that's someone else's part. I mean Crisis is probably gonna be working on that more than me. Yep. So Christ. He's gone. He's, so, he's, he's do dodging work. the question. Like, I'm out. <laughs> Another week. Uh, my opinion on executes as an ability is Oh, it's king. Oh, God. Da, da. I have lost my little bit. Oh, God. This dude. Wow. I feel like he's got that look that's like, if you did him, you're like, yeah. It's fair. <laughs> it, sorry? Like, what? like, if you lose to him, like, if you're with him and you lose, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get yeah. it. Yeah, you shouldn't feel bad about losing to this guy. He looks like he should eat you. So that's that's the thing that I really like about this design because Prime Buff, my first very first game I ever played Paragon, uh, was walking around. And you go into the Prime Pit and you're like, "What's this guy?" And you shoot him, and he starts doing tons of damage. You're like, "Oh, okay, maybe this is not the time to do this." <laughs> if you're gonna go in your first time playing this game and you're gonna see this thing, you're not gonna go, "Oh, I'm gonna attack that." Uh, it, it's just, you know, you have that, uh, that that life preservation thing happening. It's intuitive. Right, little, it right or <laughs> little more imposing than uh, than Orb Prime here. Let's see. Uh, I well, dare let's... the first person to come in our game and try and fight this guy. I want to see that happen. Dude, Crisis, I'm going to support for you the first time that this game is up, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. See you guys, I'm going to fight Prime. I love one. <laughs> Me and you are just gonna sit there and watch them get the last hit before um our buff kills him or when Beastie hey, kills them. The Beastie. Beastie. Uh, hola. Hello, Beastie. Beastie. <laughs> yes. Like move. Uh, will last hits be a thing, or will they be kind of useful Captain for Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, last things in, in have smite. to be a thing. As in Smite, yes. if they push your lane and you just sit there and soak up your XP gold, you can get a lot more. Well, if you don't last, that's the way I push until the enemy god comes over and shoves it. I think last setting is essential. Yeah. To have a skill-based MOBA. 
Yeah. I 100% agree with that. I don't know why Epic went the way of the red health bar thing. I, yeah. I don't get it. That took the skill out of Lost Inning completely. Um, before I fight Super Suit. Where is my Super Suit? <laughs> <laughs> Where is my Super Suit? Prime VC, you just see like his armor with all of his gems and he just looks around. Where's my super suit? Someone walks past, he's like, nope, fuck that. It's my super suit. I don't understand. You tell me where my suit is woman. <laughs> you tell me where my suit uh, is woman. We are talking about the greatest good. And the greatest good it. you will ever I'm know. the greatest good you ever gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that that's gonna be a thing soon again. Oh man, I'm so excited for the Incredibles. And like, the the thing is, like, there's a, there's a whole bunch of people out there that are like, do not bring your kids to this movie if it's like you like for the first week. It's about grown ups. Grown ups are gonna see this movie on their own. The millennials are <laughs> like, do not bring your children to see the Incredibles. The millennials are gonna. <laughs> yeah. Because we're getting all of our reboots uh, this year. Basically. Old people first need to see that. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All these people. Bitch, I will fight you. Um... And I will win. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in. Okay. Bitch, our help. We're gonna have a brawl. <laughs> HR, would it be unprofessional if I um harassed um Almighty? Oh, there's no HR here, by the way. Oh. Where'd May go? <laughs> Where's May? She was done with our shit. <laughs> Someone just asked, will the game release this year? And the answer is apparently Oswald said they don't want to release a piece of shit. <laughs> Oswald is 100% what, huh? correct, and I completely support his <laughs> message. <laughs> We're, yeah, trying, we're trying to release quality gameage. Quality over quantity. So, Almighty, you're just replacing all of the um, old crystals with these? Yeah, I'm just, just trying to like make them look like actual crystals instead of Bobby Mesh rubbish. Mm. You struggling there, bud? Holy shit. I'm not struggling. You're struggling. Kinda looks like you're struggling. With what? <laughs> He's just trying to get a rise out of you. I'm very back real sight. How's your Indeed. VFX coming? I am trying to understand um, Houdini and Unreal at the exact same time. And it's fun, but it's also very frustrating at the exact same time. Pro tip. Stop sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Almighty. You're a good person. Thanks, man. I try. Booth, you're looking forward to making some sick sounds for this guy, or just like a oh, do you know what? I don't, I don't, not so much about sounds, but like just the audio track for him. Oh, very much so. We've uh, we've got pictures out to uh, some very, very good friends that will be will be getting together and doing sound design. So, yes, I'm excited, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I love that both of those horns, or whatever you want to call them, eye guards, are uh, 
now different sizes. That's very cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that there's a fair amount of asymmetry going on here. Yeah. Because things look more cool with no symmetry. I'm right, Almighty. Um, it's not Doesn't just it that. It's not just that. It's that. It's, that it's it's that. Yeah, kind of. Symmetry is like um, nothing in life is perfectly symmetrical, really. Yeah. Or nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical. Not not even we are. See for yourself, man. No, I'm serious. I know. You're. I know. I know. Left... <laughs> Like I said, not where the, it the, char the character people. artist doesn't know what people look like. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut off a lie because my brain is not functioning. You mean? Something weird went on with the mesh there. I don't know what's going on with the mesh there. I have return of Fed. Yeah. Welcome. This excites me. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go grab a, a drink real quick. I will be back in like two minutes. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Well, give me time to catch up. Blah, blah. That was come back. Man, that looks amazing. I have to say. I guess this is a mechanics question. Is Despot Imathar or Jungle Boss, because you, you don't like my unofficial name, going to deal mostly single target damage or will have some sort of permanent damage or to ever to prevent aggro tank rotation? Similar to Baron Nasher from League of Legends. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a question. I can't find it. Um. A little bit up there. It's from too bad. Uh, okay. Warriors. Anything is losing through damage. More damage. Uh, I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call it aura damage. I. I don't think we've exactly set the way this guy is going to be uh, attacking and moving and such. But I can say that you probably don't want to fight him alone. <laughs> I'm back, by the way. No. Yeah, you don't want to fight this guy in it. I mean, it's one of the easy things to do one of the easier things to do is to divide damage among people that are attacking so you know you could like basically you could make it so that like any one of his hits is enough to kill like any one master on their own and then like as you start dividing it down among the number of heroes that are attacking him uh it becomes more manageable that yeah. is sick any chance of some box characters like when we got grux box <laughs> well, I mean, like, I can't speak for what bugs are gonna end up in the game by accident, but... <laughs> sure you can. Uh, I suppose I can. Well, I mean, like, if it's an accident, then no, you can't really. Like, that's... Damn it. Uh, 
Are you guys going to navigate balancing seal shots and so forth? In my honest opinion, one of the difficulties characters I had was trying to balance this controller. Wait, what? what? Uh, how are we going to navigate balance? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hear the question. Oh, how are we going to navigate balancing skill shots? Can you hear me? The more skill it requires, the more damage it does? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if your skill shot requires you to bounce it off three walls before it can hit a target. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like when it comes to questions like this, I kind of want to be an asshole and say like, look, I'm an artist and I'm part of the art team. I don't have a fucking clue what people on the mechanics team are doing. So ask them. <laughs> but I won't say that because I'm not nasty. <laughs> um, why is it PC and PS4? Why can't we get Xbox in there? Uh, fuck Microsoft. No, um, <laughs> honestly, like the, the whole PS4 thing at the moment is still a bit up in the air and unconfirmed. Yes, we potentially have builds for those, but like we don't have a dev kit to test it on and you know, like getting one from Sony might be difficult. Like we don't know the the whole process for that. Like there's a there's a like console in general is one of these things where like we shouldn't jump the gun. <laughs> yeah. Um The aim assist on PS4 Paragon was so annoying that uh, that it could ruin a perfect shot, and there was no way to turn it off. Uh, don't play on PS4. <laughs> Can't play on anything now. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh ZBrush free? ZBrush is not. Free, ZBrush is not free. But um, it's the most they, not they, free program. They, they give they give free updates. For the most part. Yeah, after you buy it once they give you free dates for like ten years, I think. But um no, but if you want a program like ZBrush, um Blender has sculpting feats, uh they're just a little bit um tedious to set up. Um Z uh what is the name? Pixel uh also um Did someone fall asleep? Sleeping. Boof is sleeping. Boof is sleeping? I'm gonna move boof. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Let me know if he wakes up so I can unmute him. <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to know if he wakes up? <laughs> well, because I've muted him I'll, on my side. Uh, oh, I'll, okay, okay. I'll keep him up. Okay. Um, Wait, is he really asleep? Yeah, he really fell asleep. He's snoring. Huh. <laughs> uh, Pixelogic Pixel also released uh, a program called Sculptress, which is like a free version of like to do ZBrush works. Um, so if you would like to try something similar to ZBrush, uh, you can try that. If you need to um, pay for full ZBrush, they have a, a smaller version called ZBrush Core, which um, it doesn't really support, but if you want to try it. <laughs> uh... Hey, you stopped. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I mean by mandatory nap time. <laughs> so he's a I need a nap. Uh, um. Boop, boop, boop. He likes the nap. He loves nap. Strong snowball effect to make it look a little bit. are talking about smile. <laughs> are you the only ones? No, we have other um, members of the team streaming. Osville streams. Um, Damon streams. Yep. Uh, uh... I think Elithenia is starting to stream soon. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, I don't know the ins and outs of, like, who's doing what. Yeah. I just focus uh... on me. <laughs> I'm a self-absorbed asshole. Look at me. <laughs> so when are you gonna put a uh, primer in red wax? <laughs> Fucking red wax. Red wax can fuck. <laughs> So why don't you guys like red wax? Just a terrible material. <laughs> like, only the programmers at Pixelogic could have thought it, would have, it was a good idea to have that as the default. Elustad has joined the fray. Thanks for following. Do you mean like, like, do you just like not like the look or like what is wrong with it? Um, it's, it's really difficult to read just in general, like, <laughs> Highlights, shadows, all that kind of stuff. It's difficult to get a good sense of form. Oh, okay. Caffeine Stew has joined the fray. Who, who, who suggested red wax? Was it you or someone else? I was just being facetious. <laughs> I, just, I, need, I feel like I need to slap some. <laughs> Oof can't save you now. If game views are not going to be out this year, you guys might as well wait until you can get a dev kit for PS5. I mean, there's no way get a dev kit for PS5. <laughs> Flight Cap has joined the fray. Thanks for following. Um... Do, 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 do. I mean, like, I think we made it fairly obvious early on as well. Like, our plans for console are very much along the lines of, like, we want to make sure that we have everything working on PC first and then worry about console. Um, yeah. And that's absolutely the way that we should be doing it as well. Um, May is so insisted on nap time. <laughs> well, I mean... I, I mean, I'm, I'm down for nap time. Poof is in here snoring, so I feel like we need nap time. <laughs> um... I need a little bit of nap time. No, uh, you need to get on with the park. Let's see. Join the fray. Thanks for following. If you made a variant, I assume that you also have a... Made a what? A raptor variant? Did we make a raptor variant? I don't know. Do we have one in mind? No, I haven't made one. Okay. I mean, you know, may or may. So there you go. <laughs> um, when you hear the um, my guys are... I look, look, it's hard to scroll through all of them. I'm trying to make sure I get all your questions in. I'm trying to be a good host here. <laughs> Maybe you're doing hosting. amazing. <laughs> uh, they want golden prime. <laughs> yeah, I just want to watch the materials. People want to watch what? You like prime and different materials. So you're single prime. Oh, okay. I mean, like it's easy enough. I wouldn't mind if prime's crystals were gold. That would look sick. <laughs> I was thinking more of a purple just so that it went with, like, because the minions are blue and red at the moment, and if we had purple for the jungle, I could find it. Um, but there's other reasons why purple would fit for the jungle as well at the moment, mm. but that's all subject to change. No. Jeez. Why does he. <laughs> why does he only have six eyes? Only four? That's like stereoscopic right there. Yeah. And, That's highest. And, and the other thing about his eyes as well is like, uh, he sees like a mantis shrimp. So, like whereas uh, whereas like humans only have like the three different uh, color senses, so red, green, and blue. Um, the mantis shrimp has uh, thirteen. So like that that Damn. thing can perceive colors that we don't even realize exist, and like have no way of detecting. I mean. I guess we could put pulses on its head and on, on its eyeballs and try to figure out how it works. <laughs> so, Almighty, what are you telling me? He can smell you. He can what? 
He can smell you. He can smell? Smell you. What? Ah, <sighs> never mind. We were talking about eyes and you say he can smell you. <laughs> you guys have never heard of that? That I can smell you. No. What? <laughs> never mind. What? What is that? Wait, well you guys don't know anything. Ah. Okay. Do you plan to add a cinematic start for matches? For example, core activating and such? Well, camera going back to player spawn form? Um, I mean, yeah, we could do. Hey, well, we could have lightly spoke about that. That's on that's on one of the more that's that's on the list of like most important things that we could we could do, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay. Well Afray, what a well thought out decision. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for following. <laughs> uh, definitely Oh man, he's gonna slap the nonsense out of people. <laughs> he's gonna slap the nonsense out of people? <laughs> I mean, I hope so. What is this, <laughs> what is this nonsense? Psh, get that out of here. <laughs> the jungle boss. About 15,000 KVP. <laughs> PSI. So many PSI. So much PSI. I'll boost you back. <laughs> I'll boost back. Let me unmute. Yes. You're fine. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Boof. Sorry, I had to mute you, dude, because you were snoring. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I don't know if I was snoring. I think my son was in here. You, you definitely were. <laughs> like, we, we have proof on the stream, so... It is all good, guys. Yep. It was up at, uh... Oh, it was about to bed at about 4 o'clock in the morning, and then my wife had to get me up at 6 to get my son ready, so I'm going on about two mm -hmm. hours of sleep. That's disgusting, man. It's part of the gig, man. Yep. Well, I'd be able to deactivate a tower, so in case I'm losing lane, I can say fuck my tower and then deactivate it so that the enemy can take it. No. Why would you want to do <laughs> <No>. that? <laughs> Don't you understand the Did concept it? of a MOBA? <laughs> and teamwork? That sounds like you the ultimate way to troll your team, and we completely do not like that. You need to call up on the well, power what's of friendship. The question? You don't can... speak for mechanics. Can you make the tower deactivatable so if you like you're losing your you can just be like fuck and take it? I mean, like <laughs> on the power of teamwork and friendship and all that other good stuff. Like, could we do it? Yeah, absolutely. Are we gonna do Probably. it? Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, might is that a very strong and firm nope? That's a that's a hard pass for me, guys. <laughs> I, I can't get behind it, dog. Oh my gosh. Uh, are you guys gonna have wars? Fog, jungle. Uh, I think we I think I think we talked or, about words. this. Yeah, I think we talked about this in the uh, in the Q and A session with Osville yesterday. Um, vision is definitely a thing that we are going to be. Focused on at some point. I'm assuming they meant wards, correct? With a D yeah. in there? Yeah, yeah, with a D, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We know them. <laughs> Buzzwords. We understand them. Um. <laughs> You're just asking for a full function with that? Did. <laughs> oh, goodness. Apologies for my weakness, friends. Um. First MOBA. No, I play... Oh, you talk you're talking to Lit. Uh, talking to me? Talk... No, they're talking to Lit. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh. 
I'm so glad I have you guys in here to talk, because otherwise I would be very quiet. <laughs> Super silent. Just let the music play. Yeah. This is a live stream the audio from on Twitch. I can't believe your douchebag composer doesn't have any music for your stream yet. I know. Uh, What's this guy even do for his time, you know? I don't know. I don't think he knows either. <laughs> Wait, if I want some glasses on Prime Beast, yeah. You know, do you want sunglasses on Prime Beast? Uh, I, I will so make them if you donate a hundred dollars. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, don't, 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 no, no. <laughs> don't, because I'm don't. not going <laughs> to. Stop. Cease. <laughs> Girl, bad. <laughs> Do not. Adults, please. Um, wait, are the, if the sunglasses are prime, if I want, are the glasses going to be two or six glasses? Uh, he's gonna have. He's gonna have. Uh, Are you ready? He's gonna have eighties, uh, eighties oh, WWF yes. wrestler Bret Hart style sunglasses. So um, my my driver just updated randomly for my uh, my card, and I don't know if I'll load or not. <laughs> uh, let me find. Oh, a sorry, let guys. Let me find a picture of the. Uh, let me my find son a is. Getting over RSV, so he's still all nasty stuff. So, okay. um, so where, where the F is my tower altitude coming in? Hey, DLC and a MOBA. I need. I need you. I need everyone in the stream to understand that this is my primary, my primary reference for prime, and these are the sunglasses that he would wear. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't wait to see this. What about <laughs> It's coming up on the stream. You have to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is excellent. <laughs> my stream is frozen. Bye. Refresh. Refresh it. <sighs> oh, those are some quality glasses, man. Yep. Ah, oh, the eighties. You don't. You don't fuck with the hitman. <laughs> Brett the hitman. Yep. That's that's the era of wrestling I grew up in, man. Like Hulk yep. Hogan, Bret the Hitman Hart, and then like I transitioned. Jim the Hacksaw to... Dugan, man. Oh, Jim the Hacksaw Dugan, yeah. And then I, I, I and then like I migrated into uh, migrated into the Attitude Era and stuff. And that like I mean I fucking love the Attitude Era, but when yeah. the Rock and Stone Cold and, and those guys retired, like that was it for me. Wrestling was done. Yeah. <laughs> Like okay, and and and, and even it. now, like I'll 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 watch every now and again. Like I'll watch a WrestleMania show or something. Um, yep. And and like there is no wrestler that has the same level of charisma as The Rock. Like he was insane. <laughs> yep. I love that uh, one of your bookmarks was twenty seven makeup, pretty makeup thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. When you're a character um, artist, you need shit like that. Like, I don't think you understand. Makeup. I don't think you understand how difficult it is. Like, as a guy who's never done makeup on himself, <laughs> like, how difficult it is to do makeup on a female character. It's really difficult. Her checks out the this beauty. <laughs> My wife challenged me to put makeup on her once, and did she look like a hooker? No, no, <laughs> no. She looked like. I mean, she looked like just. I don't even. I, don't, I can't even explain. It. Not human. <laughs> Probably closer to a zombie than a hooker. So. Oh wow. I had I had I had a lot of respect for you know. Apparently. Yeah, what people are able to do with required. makeup. That's not in my skill set. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. That's that's not that's not what I'm programmed to do. <laughs> nope. I go to school for this. Um, Why does Beastie no. only have one tooth? He, we're working on it. He doesn't. Like I can, oh. I can hide and unhide the teeth whenever I want. Oh, I was just something. about to say, did something happen? Use your you brain. Punch him in the face. Use your brain. <laughs> My brain is dead. Somebody no. needs a nap, pee. <laughs> yes. That's all good, Crisis. You didn't, fall asleep, you didn't fall asleep on stream. Yeah, I'm trying not <laughs> to. You don't want to be the only one. <laughs> uh, apparently, girl, you are. You have to. You're 
I require it to make glasses for prep. If I fell asleep on stream, Almighty would never let me hear the end of uh, This is true. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It doesn't let me skip the end of That's okay. Um, Mine isn't too difficult. I have a very, 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 very good friend that uh, has composed a lot of music for a lot of very popular games. And over the past month or so, he has literally, I don't think he's left his studio. He's had a sleeping bag <laughs> on his couch in his writing room. Uh, deadlines are awesome. Man, this Gotta looks love like nest. Oh, dude, they're rad. Especially for, you know, when you're getting changes, uh, last minute changes from musicians. That's, yeah, it's excellent. Yep. Okay. Try to grab a couple hours here, then you have to do it again. Oh. Uh Saying this looks like some nasty underbiker. Um, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> He'll be okay. You won't be okay. He will though. Yeah, he's he's gonna eat your face, man. <laughs> Leave the rest of you there. Eat the face. Uh, it's two a.m. and I, it, here's two a.m. and I didn't fall asleep, so you must. It woke. <laughs> oh, he's so scaly. <laughs> what project are you working on? I'm not sure you can talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess, Booth, I guess they're asking what project you're working on. What project am I working on? Oh, nice. Well, I'm working on Project Phoenix, and as far as other projects I'm working on, I cannot tell you. <laughs> Super secret stuff. Those NDAs are killer, man. <laughs> NDAs oh, are a killer. Oh. I fucking hate NDAs. <laughs> like, at any Wait given you get moment... The NDAs, with triple, game, triple A games. The, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, at, at any given moment, I think I'm under, like... Six or seven NDAs. <laughs> I can shoot me, man. I don't have that many, but geez. Oh, yeah, man. I want to update my portfolio, show everyone the shit that I've worked on this year, because it's been really cool. I've worked on some awesome stuff. Them fucking NDAs, though. <laughs> yep. All what your awesome crap goes right out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do any work this year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As far as. <laughs> yep. And you legitimately do get some clients who are like, "No, you can't. Sh you can't show any of this. We don't want people." Uh, that was. Oh yeah, that was that was a big one. Um, the 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 uh, the publisher, or I'm pretty sure is the most recent Halo game. Uh, told one of the outsourcers that they couldn't show any of the work that they'd done on the game because they didn't want the player base to know that the game that the artwork was outsourced. They want they wanted public uh, they wanted public uh, like impressions to be that like everything was done in house. And the most crazy thing about that is like there is no game in the history of games where everything is done in house. <laughs> yeah, it's generally not a possibility. Uh, hey guys, USA. We are from all around the world. Yep, I'm from England. Warren is from Scotland. Booth is from oh. Boothland. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm Boothland. from America. Booth is the Dutch of Boothland. The Dutch. The, 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 yeah, Duchess. There you go, he's the Duchess. The Duchess of Boothland. I, I am the Duchess of Boothland. <laughs> what? That's not made up. You're made up. <laughs> Your mom's made up. Your mom's made up, man. Uh, Warren's actually from Scotland. I know he doesn't sound it. <laughs> I was as surprised as you are. T top 10 anime betrayals. Anybody heard that Robin Williams take on uh, drinking with the Scotsman? Mm -mm. Yep. I mean, it, goes into, it goes into the thing about golf. Oh my gosh. I want to know where that dude 
learn accents so well. I think that had to do with Juilliard, but I could be wrong. Uh, Irish is an easy one to do. You just say the words whale, oil, beef, cooked. Whale, oil, beef, hooked. Now do it quickly. Wave oil beef hooked. On, I'll type Whale it out. Beef hooked? I'll type it out Wave. and you just say it quickly. Well, I'll be fucked. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whale oil beef be hooked. Whale oil beef hooked. Whale. Whale oil. Fucked. <laughs> you have to say it all together, no pauses. Whale oil, oil be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we found one that we found one that Omega can't do. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, I've well oil be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Diction is important, children. <laughs> Don't give me none of that jurist my diction crap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna say it? Who's gonna say it? What's the movie reference? I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, I feel I really know. old, Booth. I feel really old. Oh, I'm kind of with you. <laughs> Oh, come on. I mean, to be fair, I haven't watched TV or Scott's movie yet. Jeez, this is an iconic movie. <laughs> Truly an iconic movie. Yeah. I guess nobody's ever seen The Matrix. Okay. Well. I have not, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've never seen The Matrix? I've seen, I've like seen parts of it. Full movie. I've like you always have seen not lived. The Matrix was my childhood. <laughs> You should have made a comment. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> it appears you're living two lives. If I'm <laughs> gonna be honest, One that scene lives. where Neo loses his m gave me nightmares. Fucking days. <laughs> <laughs> that that lives was the only the thing. <laughs> the other does not. Your impression is hands-on. Amazing. It's awesome. I didn't know we had many had so many UK lads. To be honest, thought we'd be mostly N. <laughs> mostly yeah, nah. Lot of good <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. the best, the best <laughs> one is the best one is the whole. I hate this place, this <laughs> zoo, this prison, this reality, whatever you want to call it. I can't stand it any longer. It's the smell. <laughs> when he yeah, says yeah, it's yeah. the smell, I'm just oh, like, that's yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. It's the smell. Hugo <laughs> Weaving, man. That dude is a uh, unsung amazing actor. You humans uh, are like <laughs> you humans are, are like a virus. You spread from <laughs> place to place, infecting. <laughs> yeah. I have not seen Star Wars. <laughs> what have you seen? I'm very confused. I can't, if you get if you go down to the list, I'll see what I have and have <laughs> Lord of the Rings. No. What? <laughs> Everything you need to know about Star Wars is on that uh, that uh, that bad lip reading with uh, Yoda and uh, have Luke. Have you seen? Have you seen a movie called Seven? Because no. what's in the box? <laughs> god, tell me what's in the box. What's in the fucking box? Oh my god, that film. That film is just so good. <laughs> Seven is excellent. But the thing is, it's one of those films where it's only good once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Omega, have you seen Home Alone? Mm, I may have, like when it was on Disney Channel. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't think Home Alone's a Disney movie. No, but uh, sometimes they were like, um, 
post like play them on Disney. Oh, okay. Here. That is a good question. I very regularly question my humanity. What? <laughs> Somebody in chat said, are you even human? I have not seen the Dark Knight now. <laughs> this is gonna be the stream now. What movie? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to watch like one movie a week. Get get through like I a play seen... a playlist of awesome films before we can trust you again. <laughs> I have seen The Lion King, yes. <laughs> did you see Black Panther in the movie? Yeah, I did see Black Panther. Because that's basically The Lion King. <laughs> My voice sounds like calling to call as they say. <laughs> Wonderful, ladies and fun? gentlemen. I have to respectfully bow out for the time being. As always, okay, bye -bye. you guys are freaking amazing, and you make the stuff that I do for a living look like a joke. So, <laughs> don't be stupid, man. Like I can't do sound no, engineering. It's a freaking, it's a privilege watching you guys work. It's insane. So, oh, thanks, man. Great to have you here. All right, guys. Thanks for hey, thanks for having me and all my snores. Till next so, time, bro. <laughs> so we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Um, I have seen the first Harry Potter, and I think I have seen Prisoner of Azkaban, and I want to say Goblet. Fire. Just a little bit of golf fire. I've not seen Twilight. I was not in Twilight. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry? He said calmly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you, have you seen, that's the thing. Like in the book, he's like, Dumbledore calmly asked Harry, "Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire?" And in the movie, he's like, "Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire?" <laughs> get your, get your. Mm? I fucking love you, Almighty. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy or Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Do you watch movies? I've seen them in six years. What part of <laughs> So, yeah, like I said, I watched Avengers today. That shit was fucking dope. Please uh, don't spoil it. Not spoil I, it. I'm I not spoiling it. I, I, don't, so I, don't, I try not to spoil films. I'm not like that. Um, I used to watch... You're not that mean. <laughs> I used to watch anime, and then after I got out of high school, I, uh... I <laughs> Discovered stopped. sex. It was like anime is a no, like, no-no now. <laughs> no, I got- I stopped, and then we need to buy Omega Films. <laughs> I got out of, I got out of high school, and then I stopped just watching anime, just in general. It's not like I don't like it anymore, I just don't looking for it. Uh, but funnily enough, after that, I made Japanese friends, then I ended up learning Japanese, so... So you went weeb after it was cool. <laughs> I went weeb for the right reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh I'm gonna go to F movies and watch some movies, please. I have I have uh things to do. I gotta record lines. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's I gotta graduate. College in a couple in like a week or two. Congratulations, man. And then I need to worry about finding a job <laughs> or streaming. One of the two. I'm either a streamer, find a job. Bigger eyes. Bigger eyes. Now, I've already made them a bit bigger. No, you don't need to graduate. You need to watch the entire Marvel collection. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree. 
I watched some of them. I haven't seen all of them. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're getting scar. We're getting scar up in here. Yeah. Clear off the beast. Mm. It's gonna be that pair. Go color. <laughs> Okay, do you know? What's up? Well, uh, do you know what the main color of the beast is gonna be? Do I have any idea what main color it's gonna be? Mm-hmm. Um... No, I mean, I was kind of thinking... Something fairly pale. Um... I don't know, I, I want him to stand out from from his surroundings, and at the moment the jungle is all like these uh, dark green and brown colors, so I wanted something that would stand out from that. Okay. <laughs> Give him a little paragon sigil. You can legally not do that. <laughs> nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's a battle. <laughs> that's a copyright infringement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I tooth into his body somewhere. <laughs> That's a bit on the nose. Oh, uh, what was that? Add a fang tooth to his body. And is it etch the words "kill fang tooth" into his body? <laughs> Is your voice? Crisis. Mm hmm. Yes. Your background. <laughs> oh, sorry. Turn <laughs> down your TV. Goddamn. Chill out. <laughs> uh, put the word "etch the word kill thing" to under his foot. You already put <laughs> Andy under the minion's yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. One of the minions' feet has count. Andy written under it. So. The other one has the. Who dares hoppeth into this chat? <laughs> <laughs> well then. Fucking leave again. Who dares? Oh, hey, where? <laughs> mm, hello again. Oh, I should have. Oof. What's that? Never mind. I don't know. What I'm I, don't know. I was gonna ask if I. I was gonna see, uh, ask if in the game yet or not. But I don't even know. I wasn't. <laughs> uh. Okay. I must go. Goodbye, the Sprox 1997. Go Bye, save man. your people. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for hopping in the stream. Hope you had fun. Thanks for coming. Uh, we must get a good name. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you guys want to think of a think of a fun name or whatever, go for it. please do. We've been calling it like Hydro for a long. He's not going to be called um, Prime Beast. We just don't know what to call him. <laughs> the boy's like, Rar, my name is Rar. I love you, and dinosaur. <laughs> Rar.
We're coming to the end? Oh man. No, the Mega Mix is coming to the end. I need to oh, find man. a new Mega Mix. You gotta what, find a new Mega Mix. One that I'm licensed to play. <laughs> Grox is raw, call him Grox. <laughs> I think that name's probably copyrighted. Almost certainly is. You can't copyright a name. <laughs> you can trademark a name. Yeah. Yum, my mom. His name is. Big angry jungle monster. Yep. Call him Badgum. <laughs> Call him Badgum for short. Bagma. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who did the concept for this beast? Uh, Damon did it. Right? Golden? Yep. And then I ignored it. <laughs> nah, that's not true. Um, you like, the general idea. Yeah, I, I took <laughs> I took the general idea that he wanted to get across in the concept. Uh, uh, kind of like took my own spin on it, along with like a whole bunch of other kaiju references, other monsters. Uh, just off the top of my head, you got Atlas on AW and Titanfall. So, uh, so what call do different because Atlas is an actual word. Well, Atlas is an actual word, but it's also a Greek god, right? Mm hmm So it's both a word and a proper name. So wait, if it's like a word like Glados, which would only be used for that character. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of like a weird thing. doing here we're yeah, I, we like do. i said i'm just polishing everything up i'm get like working on the the areas like around the crystals making the flesh all like pulpy so it looks like the the crystals are kind of like protruded through the flesh and stuff um i'm adding like scar tissue to the areas where like you might see combat stuff that's cool uh, this yeah, may not actually be the final this may not actually be the final stream on the, the high poly I'd expect that it's gone a bit slower than I had anticipated. And we're already like coming up to the three hour mark. We've been jeez. Well, on that note, 
I'm gonna head off to sleep because I can't anymore. <laughs> Weakling. <laughs> yeah. Night guys. I do. Night guys. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>
Oh no, this is my place. So that way that could design the pit and that would be like if he enough to uh, recognize his reflection there'd be a whole bunch of broken crystals around because he would try to fight his reflection. Yeah. This is design people. <laughs> Hey, Sinshot. Or bye. Uh, no, you come on. Going. Good. This. <laughs> oh, he broke a nail. Yeah. You should get a bunch of ancient texts engraved on the walls of his pit, like when you find the new dragon shouts on Skyrim. I mean, that's a good idea. You should definitely, um, drop it into the suggestions section in the room. Yeah. That Cyclops still needs more work. Oh, yeah. Like, if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to drop them in the suggestions on the Discord. We, we do... Do you know? Yeah, we do. All the time. <laughs> You're there. <laughs> Wolverine. Eli. Um. Do, 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 do. That Cyclops still need some more work. <laughs> Gosh. Someone deciphers the text and says, R. R. X. D. <laughs> Hi, <it's D. laughs> 2011 Evo Land. Oh, bring back. <laughs> bring uh, back hail... the raw. Uh, hey, Almighty, I'm working on a resume and I'm packing issues towards graphic design. I'm mostly experienced with logos and posters as well as company accessories. So, what should I make for a portfolio towards, say, a game company? Wait, what? sorry, can you repeat the question? Hey Almighty, I'm working on a resume and I'm having issues towards the portfolio for graphic design. Logos and posters as well as company accessories. So what should I make for portfolios towards, say, a game company? Base? Um... Depends what you mean by graphics design. Like, are you... Are you going to be making, like, signage or... Um... Uh... Like promo materials for the for the games or whatever, like or are you going to be making actual like art assets for the game? Those are the questions I would ask about that because they're going to define like the direction that you need to go. Honestly, like I don't know much about like what you would need to do in terms of graphics design. <laughs> Let me help you out. Yeah, I mean, e yeah, <laughs> Eli is doing graphics design at, at uh, school at the moment. So if you want to do graphic design, you need to go back and look at the different things that they offer. So if you're there, if so, things that have to do with graphic design and like say League of Legends includes things just for the uh, abilities, profile icons, um, UI design is graphic design. Uh, uh, if you're a multimedia graphic designer, the videos that they play are graphic design. So basically, if it's 2D design in a um, in a video game sense so if you want to go for the big bucks you can make an entire launcher and just throw it and be like hey word what's good or you can just like make some um show your style uh uh for like the abilities and stuff maybe um yeah show your you are at pairing fonts together 
uh, design if if the game has like um borders and design show designing for border the on games and see what their graphic design is and see if you can't uh, find a way to make it your own and put it in your portfolio. Yeah, I think like for for me as well, like if you're going for any kind of artistic role, uh, your uh, portfolio and resume should be geared towards showing them as much of your artwork as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to, yeah, you don't want them like having to click around loads of different places on your website trying to find your artwork or anything. Like, should literally just be like load up website, bam, artwork in your face. Um, and your resume should absolutely have like a link to your portfolio, like front and center kind of thing. Uh, in the future, do you guys make cinematics like We make what? Cinematics like Leak does. Well, I mean, anything is possible, right? But, hmm. uh, <laughs> currently not in our budget. <laughs> He'll be right back, okay? Really quiet without Omega. Yeah. <laughs> Super quiet. Hey, mate, you can read questions while Omega's with. Okay. Give Prime a pentagram in his pit to scare off the Christians. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Yeah. That's not a question. We're we're rated we're rated T for take it down a notch, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Warren. Gotcha. I mean, gotcha. don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely like 100% agnostic, and uh, <laughs> you know, like, but you know, I don't shit all over other people. It... Yeah, I'm also agnostic, and I do agree. I'm back. Welcome back. What? It went down real quick without you. <laughs> oh yeah, like, what the hell? There what were no happened? questions to read. What happened? We went. <laughs> I guess what I have another question towards what software I should use since I no longer own Adobe Illustrator. Um, I use Draw Plus. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll show you some. I'll show you some programs. Uh, I mean, so. Content for the specific purpose to scare off a group is not what we want because we want the game to be playable by everybody. Mm -hmm. we, we want everybody to have an uh, enjoyable playing experience and environment regardless of what creed, belief, or whatever they fall. Exactly. Having something. No discrimination. Yeah, no discrimination. Whatever lifestyle you want to live, just live your best life. That's it. Live your best life, let people live theirs. That's what we follow. Right, I'm gonna call it end to the stream because I think I'm about ready to send this to. Uh, yeah, I'm about ready to to basically reread Hoppo it, which shouldn't take long. And um, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, oh, I can I can kind of. Read. So <laughs> the topology for this guy is actually not too bad. Like this is this is basically. <sighs> almost ready to be like the final mesh but uh i need to i need to basically like add the crystal to it and add the claws to it stuff. um which shouldn't take too long and then i can texture uh and add it all. Mm. Uh, yeah 
yeah. Um, we just do the the old turnaround that everyone seems so fond of. Oh, there's some there's some extra materials on it. Some random materials. Or just some random materials? Yeah, just throw a random material on it, like a gold or. Okay. Problem. <laughs> Um, okay, so like gold here, gold, uh, silver, like a rusty bronze. Actually, this one looks cool if I render it out. This dude looks fucking amazing. There's some yeah. red wax on it. Yeah, put that one. Do a bunch of gold rendered. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm literally just like cycling through a bunch of materials for you guys. <laughs> Did you put red wax on? No, and I never will. It's <laughs> 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 looking good, man. Yep. Asking, <laughs> like, put this material on it, put this material on it. Get on. There you go, closest thing to red wax, red metallic. There you go. <laughs> go back. I'm, I'm not like streaming. Right now. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You just go do a stream full of like red wax. Yeah, just red wax. <laughs> red wax everywhere. I'm chosen this one just to really piss girl off. <laughs> just all of the modelers on our team. I just really wanted to trigger them today. Just really. Yeah. So we're gonna model in red wax. <laughs> oh my god. He's no. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, no. Thank you to everyone uh, for joining the stream. Thank you to the two people who subscribed today. Um, how do I see like who recently subscribed? Check your email. Oh yeah, check my email. All the people who followed today, thank you guys thank you for following. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm, checking my, I'm checking my email. Following, following, following. <laughs> it doesn't say who subscribed, so, you know. Oh, rip. Yeah, rip. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch, if you're listening. It gets. I think, I think one of them was, um... Demonic. Born anyway, so it doesn't matter. Demonic, yeah. <laughs> oh, did, maybe they just wanted to unlock the, uh, what's it called? The, yeah. the extra emotes. Yeah. I can be, be a thing. Just trying to find out who it is so that I can, like, shout out and be like, yo, thanks. Um, but no, I can't find it out, so, whoever you are, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> we, appre we appreciate it's because it. of we you that we were... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, thank you to everyone for coming along. Thank you for, for being part of the, the stream and everything. Thank you for all the questions. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I'm, I'm gonna make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Later, everyone. Our team has That's risen my boy. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.